wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna say goodbye to my avatar. Well, get used to it, Himiko. Okay? Get used to it. We gotta, we gotta investigate who killed my baby view. Okay? So you better get your ass about this program. All right? Sorry. Body just guns, bang bang, gang gang. Let's get back into this game. Banging Rampa V3, killing Harmony, baby. I love Mew. Like, like, why would you want to kill Mew out of all people? Like, my, uh, you know what? Whatever, whatever. Before <laughs> I'm getting a little too personal. Before I dive on in, be sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like for your girlfriends, me, and other good stuff. And let's begin. <sighs> Look, everybody crying. Everybody crying. Look. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please report to the computer room. Wait, you're already here. Wow, I get to bring you the body discovery announcement live. Doing it live is great. Better than beer and fucking and what? And what? You little bear? You little pervy bear? What do y'all want? Huh, Daddy, you always had such a potty mouth. I was holding back because we already had a one vulgar cast member, but now it's my time to sh Oh, oh, oh. So you're saying because we off me, you get to say all vulgarities, huh? Man, fuck you. Fuck you. That's Thankfully, nice. I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of crude stuff. Yay, I finally get to be a foul mouth asshole. Newsflash, you been one. You know what you also been? A deadbeat. Get out of here. What a vulgar last word. Hey. What's wrong, Monotar? Are you just staring blankly at the body? Hey. Staring at the body? <laughs> Oh, oh, Lord, there she goes. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, oh, yeah, Mew was supposed to be her, their parent that they just adopted. <laughs> we barely heard the announcement as we stared at Mew, but dumbfounded. We just stared at Mew's corpse. That's terrible. It's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? Mew, why? What's going on? Why was Mew killed? <laughs> Gon to not understand. Either Mew like this when Gon to wake up? Why? Hey, what's going on? Why did this happen? <sighs> Well, it's obvious a murder huh? happened. A murder? Weird. What you mean? Did something happen while going to sleep? No. We weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual Damn. world. Hey, where's Kaito? Ugh. Where, that's right, Kaito. Where's he at? Did he do it? Almost as if on cue. We heard footsteps running down fast down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door busts open. What you doing, Kaito? Hey, hey what's this all about? What, what was the body discovery now? What, Mew? What the hell is going on here? Uh. You're too late, okay? All the others finished gasping in terror already. By the way. But anyway, where were you this whole time, Kaito? What were you doing? So... I was just taking a nap. Taking a nap? Taking a nap? During the, you know what? Kaito, I've been rocking with you this whole time, but right now you're looking a little sus to me. Okay, you are, you are. Taking a nap? Um... You were sleeping? Gonto was sleeping too, had a strange dream, going to not understand anything. Um, As I said, that was the virtual what? world. So you logged out by yourself and then you took a nap without our permission. You know. I suddenly got logged out before I realized that I was back uh, here. Um, you were logged out involuntarily? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to our room and slept. Damn it. And when the body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <laughs> hey Kaito, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Do you think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like Hold that? On. It's not a lie. I was really hey. sleeping. Hold on a minute. We can discuss whether or not that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Mew. <laughs> you seem ready. Well, of course you are. Right. One of your dear friends was killed, so it's finally time for you to shine. Mm. Explain it however you like, Kokichi. The fact is, we don't. if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. But I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so that we can all survive. Even if the culprit is Kaito. Don't screw around. Huh? What? Okay. Now, now, please save your arguments for the class trial. In the meantime, the Monokuma file. The Monokuma file. With this, you can even investigate up Mew's asshole. Um, no. Which I think that she would actually enjoy, but no, we're not gonna do that. Huh? Even there? Aww. I'm certain you guys will make this turn of events very entertaining, asshole. <laughs> Just to say it. He's just saying it just to say it. Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Oh, Monitor is sad that his mommy, mommy. is gone. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. I'll find the culprit this time no matter what. Hey. What are you being so cheery what? about? Well, what are you sad about? You guys hated her, not as much as you hate me, but still. Stop it! That's not the issue. Of course I thought she was loud and annoying, I mean, but I never wanted her to die. I never wanted us all to escape yes. together. 
Mew was certainly bra brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had her before maintenance on my body, so I know. I know very well. I bet you do. I bet you enjoyed every moment of her examining your body, huh? Installing them parts. Cranking your gears, huh? <laughs> Let me stop. I want to cry, but I can't. I should have I should have had Mew install a crying function. Oh. Huh? Wouldn't your tears cause you to short circuit? No. Not at all. My body is completely waterproof. Jeez. This isn't the time for that. <laughs> Gonta can you know, can forgive this. Gonta never forgive this. Never forgive Crawford either. Gonta. But Gonta Idiot. never forgives self. Gonta swear to protect everyone. Gonta fail to protect Mew. Gonta no could protect anyone again. Gonta is a failure as a gentleman. Hmm. I'm so tired of this awful feeling. I have, I have to do something. I can't Shuichi. let this. Shuichi, don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick. Don't forget. Yeah. We're going to do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Uh, no way, Jose. Wha what? Well, you know. Shuichi is the most reliable person in a class trial, you know? Why would we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? huh? Yeah. You know what? Kokichi is actually right because I'm very suspicious of Kaito for sleeping when we're all in a virtual world. Like, what are you doing sleeping? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. You're saying that if I was a culprit, Shuichi would hide the truth to protect don't me? Bullshit. Don't underestimate Shuichi. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that sees things through. Mm. But remember Kaede's class trial. Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Shuichi. Uh, okay. Kaito, <laughs> you love to believe, don't you, Kaito? You really don't But care. that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know? I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine, if you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Shuichi won't team up. But, but don't, worry about don't worry, it's just for now. <laughs> but hearing him say all that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That said, try to get through this on your own. Clear me of suspicion with your own power. <laughs> if you can be cleared. I mean, here's a point. Everyone is viable right now, especially him since he was sleeping, you know? I don't like this at all. It feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course, this is Kaito we're talking about. Nothing I could say could change his mind. Regardless, there's only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. Now we gotta investigate her death, man. My God. Mm. This gonna make me mad. I can already tell this gonna make me heated when I find out who the culprit is, man. Oh my God. First, I should check the Monokuma file. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mew. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Mew Iruma. The body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Approximate time of death is 6.30 a.m. There are no external wounds on the body. Huh. No external wounds at all. No external wounds killed around 6.30 in the morning. Hmm. The time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we were still in the virtual um. world. Kokichi, what do you want? Uh. You don't have to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Shuichi. Um. It's just I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaito said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother uh, you. Um, keeping an eye it's out? true. Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner, okay? All right. But I'll help you as much as I can. So where are you gonna investigate now? Hmm. What is he up to? Why is he following me? Huh? Everyone's, everyone's suspicious to me. Everyone, everyone. All right, let's look at this. Let's look at her body. Let's look at her body. Mew's hands are clasped around her neck as if she was gasping for air. Her eyes are wide open and panicked. She must have suffered quite a bit. Oh, man. Wow. Ew, that one is grody face. Mew must have suffered a lot. <laughs> a vulgar death fit for a vulgar bitch. You know what? This is why you're on the list. You. This is why you're on the fucking list. I. Oh my god. Ooh, if I could go through the screen, yo. Oh my god. Stop, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that's it's too nothing. far. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right. Even if she was a despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person, you mother. I'm a. Ooh. Ooh, Maki. I see you in the background, Maki. Just get, just get, take his head off. Just take his head off and we'll all turn the other way. I promise you we would, okay? It'll get this killing game done faster if you did it. Like, come on. I suppose I'll never get Kokichi to change. Right. But what's Mew's cause of death? It doesn't say in the monocle um, file. Um, may I? I wanted to let you know just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way. I was the first one to log out and find out Mew's body. Huh. She was still wearing the helmet and her body was into this awful position. 
Maki logged out after I did, and she helped me take Mew's helmet off, and then she was gone. Is that a confession? How is that a confession? Anyway, the question is the cause of death. What caused her to suffer like this? Hmm. So she still had the helmet on when we came out. Let's look at her visor. This is the device we wore on our headset into the virtual world. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in, others have them removed. I'm positive they were unplugged after logging out. That's it, the cords. We were supposed to plug the two cords from the computer into our helmets. The red for consciousness, the blue for memory. If you got those mixed up, who knows what would happen. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know, I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone, who knows? Hmm, a glitch, huh? Let's look at the other ones. Can we look at the others? Can we, what's that, what's that? A small bottle, huh? Something on a seat. It's a small bottle. I feel as though I've seen this before. This is yours, right, Shuichi? Huh? Mine? No, I guess it's not yours, but it's from your lab. Ah, oh, that's right, this is in the Ultimate Detective's lab. Yeah, it's for that poison. So you know about this, Kukichi. Of course, because I already checked it. We're in a killing game, you know? If there's poison and tricks prepared, then of course I'd investigate them ASAP. That's, is that? Um, oh, it's not so I can use them. i check in case someone else uses them. Is that really by true? The by the way, did you see the label on the back of this huh? bottle? The label? Um, According to the warnings here, this poison is pretty lethal. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed, so it has to be taken directly. But when it's taken directly, the victim will immediately die, even if they only take one sip of it. Which means if you could get the victim's mouth open, you could kill them instantly. I can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged By in. By the way. By the way, I should tell you what symptoms this poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel under the conjunctiva to explode, which makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red. Bloodshot eyes, that's important information. Well, that's everything about this poison. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? Maybe it's time you acknowledge me as your partner. No. I thought I remembered you saying that you didn't want to be my partner. I, did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking huh? about it. Seriously? Anyway. anyway, who brought this poison? Do you think the culprit did it? Who brought the poison? I can't be certain yet. Who sat in that seat? Who sat in that seat? But I do know that the poison was left on that person's chair. Who sat in that damn seat? Hold on. Hold on. That was Kokichi. That's Kokichi's chair. So did you bring it, bitch? Okay, you know what? Hmm. From what the time of death indicated in the Monokuma file, Mew was killed while we were still in the virtual world. Uh, let's look at you, Kaito, because you look like very suspicious to me. That's right. Shuichi, I gotta explain, just so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Uh, You're talking about how you logged out by yourself, right? Okay, let's hear it then. What? Why are you? Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game after don't all. Don't screw around. Huh, what? Hey. Kaito, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean... About the whole logging out thing, I don't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up underneath me. I was suddenly sucked in, and before I knew it, I was logged out. The same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did that happen on the roof? Uh, and um, what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um, and the body discovery announcement woke you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back hey. here. Do you remember what condition Mew's body was in when you logged oh out? No, nah, I didn't pay attention to that, so I didn't know. You didn't notice anything wrong, like whether she was dead or not. Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Oh. Okay, sorry. So I just need to object to the contradiction in that testimony, right? Don't screw no, I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Shuichi. Shuichi. No, Shuichi, in order to find the truth, you can't be biased. He's right. He's right. Can't can't just have his back because I like him, you know? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Kaito. You look a little sus right now. You look a little Um I've been wondering, what was the secret of the outside world that we were searching for anyway? That's true. We got sidetracked by Mew's murder case. We never discovered what that secret actually was. Hmm. We couldn't find anything at the chapel and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Okay. No, Sumagi and I didn't find I'm anything. Bad. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaito and Golta too, right? Right. And knowing them, if they had found something, they would have told us right away. Yeah. Yes, they would have, unlike you. <laughs> wow, sweet did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. It's about time. It's about time. You deserved this a long time ago, okay? That's so mean. Do you know? Robots don't need warm blood to function, so they can become cold like this. That's why he's more concerned about the secret of the outside world than for you. <laughs> he told us he couldn't even cry if he wanted to. He went so far to stage his dramatic reaction. That's, wrong. That's not true. I'm hoping we can discover the truth too. Oh. You're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. 
Oh, man. Kibo, just get him. Just get him. Come on. Hey, Monotaur, what's going on with you? This place is upsetting my stomach. No, you're endangering our entire existence as mascot characters. Monotaro. Monotaro. Oh, he's just sad that mommy is dead. Oh, my God. Okay, Himiko, what's up? I never thought Mew would be killed. When I saw her avatar there not moving, I thought maybe, but that's right. You saw that Mew's avatar in the virtual world had stopped moving. Mm. Me, Kibo, and Maki all found her avatar. Hey. Can you tell me more about that? Any details? Mm. We were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. Hey. Mew was too, right? No. no, Mew volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel so she wasn't with us. Mew volunteered to look around outside. Mm. Huh, we searched, but we couldn't find anything. Then right when we were starting to get tired, mm. All of a sudden, we heard a really loud sound outside. That must be the sound I heard as well. Mm. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from inside. Something hitting the chapel mm. wall. So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mew's avatar. Uh, um, That's when you went to log out to check Mew's real body, but, correct? But when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Geez. Then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed thank up. You. I see, thank you. Oh. That testimony sounded important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have been between the mansion and the chapel. <laughs> then this helps us narrow down the people who could have come in contact with Mew. Who could have come into contact with Mew at the chapel? Huh. I'm trying to talk to everybody, y'all, because I'm not getting I'm not getting it right now. I'm not. Aw. Hey, Ghost, are you alright? So are you still depressed about Mew? Come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. By the way. Oh, Gonta, I want to know what you think. Rare, I know. But who do you think is a culprit? Gonta don't Gonta know. not know. Murder already happened when Gonta woke up. Focus but why this happened? Why Mew killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. But Gonta frustrated and sad. Gonta no could protect Mew. He seems all over the place right now. Oh man, he can't even think at all when he's like this. It's true. But Gonta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Well, I guess a big dumb dumb like Gonta doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Kokichi, you might want to stop while you ahead. Like, I, I feel like somebody's gonna get you. And it's gonna be somebody that you talk shit about. Like, I, like, I feel like it's gonna happen very, very soon, okay? Hey. Don't talk about me like that. I'm so disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry. Oh, don't apologize, Gonta. Gonta. Gonta's so sorry. Gonta's sorry he could no protect Mew. Gonta, if you could feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Help us find the culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us, okay? Oh, okay. Gonta understand. Gonta do his best to find culprit. Gonta definitely do his best this time. Yep, now that's the spirit. Now Kokichi is encouraging him? I really don't know what Kokichi is thinking. I think that's the point. I think that's why he lies so much that we never know. Maki was working on the computer, her hand moving the mouse around rapidly. You know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. I've never used this program before either. Hmm. I see. I imagine that it would be difficult to understand unless you're an expert. Well. But I did find a text file regarding this program. It has info about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh so what did it say? Huh. Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Shuichi. <sighs> According to this text file, the killing game simulator uses a certain program as base. It's called Neo World Program, and that is from... The second game, right? Yes, yes it is. Mm. Neo World Program, never heard no. of it. In this killer game simulator, objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what Mew told us. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will die from shock. Huh? From shock? Oh. oh, so this is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they die in the real world. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you feel the same amount of pain. Right? So it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from the fatal injury. Oh, but the more important question is, why did Mew keep such an important detail a secret? That is strange. I have no idea why she wouldn't mention such an important detail. Did she hide that from us on well, purpose? That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation like mounts do not exist. So you can only move around using your avatar. Oh boy. She should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world. That's all it says in a text you. file. Thank you, Maki. That was very helpful. Did she fall off the brick? I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at many things because, like, Mew did say that if the plugs were plugged in incorrectly, then she doesn't know what could happen. You know, you could glitch. You could be somebody else. 
And I'm thinking maybe we heard Kibo's voice on the side of the mansion when he was at the chapel because that was a glitch and maybe Kibo's things were plugged in incorrectly, maybe. And maybe Muse was too, I don't know. I got, I need more information, I don't know. But is the info in the text file correct? What, are you what do you about? mean? Uh -uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki, but I'm just saying that file could have been rewritten. It's possible someone rewrote the original info with false info, you know? Uh -huh. But to determine that, you would need extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time This to looks shine. like a job for me. Huh? 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 Stop it. Don't get in our way. <laughs> I won't get in the way. In fact, I want you to let me help you with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation? Monitor, what are hey. you saying? Come on, please. Why won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. That about? logic doesn't make sense. No way. You can't, Monotaro. We're not allowed to help the participants. As mascots, we gotta stick to that rule. I role. don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I wanna help everyone. Yep, he's like, I wanna help my lobby. <laughs> so I guess it is good that Mew adopted them now. I think it is. I wanna avenge my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy? You mean Mew? No, Monotaro, you've forgotten pain. You've forgotten that she's not our mother. And you've forgotten about the important person you need to protect. Ah! Shut up, you pig. I'm busy avenging mommy's death. Oh, how sad. But it looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye. Who? Daddy? Hello. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at this point. I don't know what the bears are doing. Um, Alrighty then, let's do huh? this. Do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. True, I suppose, thanks. but thanks. I'll do my best for mommy's sake. No. Wait, perhaps we should. <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mommy. I'm so touched. Oh, please. Right, just whatever. All right, fine. I'll leave it to you then. I suppose I have no choice. All right. All right, I'll start analyzing the computer right away. Let's see. Oh, oh. Yeah! Okay. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. Go fight for your mama. His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire. Mm. Oh, you might want to slow down. We don't want to destroy the computer. All right. I've already analyzed a few huh? things already. Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't like it was altered. Yay. Also, I found this too. Is this? This looks like the information of when everyone logged in and out. Okay. Uh -oh. There's no sign that this was altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey. Could you show it to me? Hmm, let's see who lying, huh? Okay, all right, so let's see. It really does have everyone's login and logout times recorded. Okay, so it says, here we go, Sumigi, Kaito, Kibo, Shuichi log in. Then Maki logged in, they all logged in, logged in. Okay, so Kaito was the first one out at 517. It says that she died at 630. Kibo and Himiko, Maki, everybody else was still in when 6.30 passed. Kaito was the only one out. Kaito is looking very, very suspicious right now. He really is. He really is. Well, Aside from you, everyone has logged in and out right. once. Then it would appear that no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. Then my main concern becomes Kaito. He logged out ahead of us. No, it couldn't be him. No, it could be. It could be. Just because that's your friend and you like him and I like him, doesn't mean that he doesn't. he didn't do it. He may have, I don't know. He looking real sus right now. Like the evidence is not helping him. Um, also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So. It looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Huh? The program's been rewritten. Obviously, Mew was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So which files should be right and what should change? Okay. I'll analyze that, of course, but it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then Shuichi will be able to avenge Mew. He's just saying whatever he All pleases. right. All right, then I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program. <laughs> You're so reliable. That's true. Yeah, way more than you. Thank you, Malky. Thank you. Tell him. Sheesh. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to Sumigi. What you been doing, girl? Like I thought. It ended up like this after all. I had a bad feeling ever since I thought I saw Mew from the dining room window. Mm -hmm. You thought you saw Mew? Oh. Yeah, I told Shuichi about it. Yeah, we did. We did. There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe 10 minutes ago, I looked through it and I saw Mew. Oh, oh so you saw Mew then. Uh -huh. I thought I must have been mistaken since you should have been by the chapel. <laughs> You're only saying you were mistaken because you don't have to feel guilty. What? Huh? Because? If you had been positive it was Mew, then you could have done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know? <laughs> that, oh my god! Hey. That's just speculation, Kokichi. You can't judge in hindsight. Bad. Oh, we went a little off topic there. Anyway, I wanted to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw Mew? Um, I thought I was mistaken, but it really bothered me, so about 10 minutes later, I told Shuichi. 
And while we were talking about it, huh? Then we heard a crash. We sure did. What was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside. We heard a loud noise and rushed out into the entrance hall. For now, let's go outside and check. And then we heard Kibo. Uh huh. That was Keyboy's voice. Kibo. <laughs> That's a Keyboy. <laughs> Keyboy's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Okay. He was, but Sumigi and I are positive it was his voice. We heard Kibo from the entrance hall when he should have been at the chapel. What? That's weird, because you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and mansion. Even Mew said that. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. Huh. You're right, the sound shouldn't reach through the map loading point. So how do we hear Kibo's voice? How were we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Maybe someone's lying. What? Lying? Hmm. Hey. By the way, Kokichi, did she hear the loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? Oh. Huh, I'm not sure. I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. Yeah. You're lying to his face. Kaito? Hey. Kaito, you keep interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or something? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Don't screw around. Who would like you, dumbass? I was interested in Shuichi's conversation. Huh? Conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? Well, what I said before was pretty much everything. After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what uh, happened. Um, we saw Gonsa as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Yeah. And then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? So suppose what? not. I see you're working hard. It looks like you're starting to make take this game seriously, Kaito. Shut up! Shut up! Hmm. Okay. A loud noise. Uh-huh. I suppose I've investigated everything that I can here. Hmm. Hey. Are you done investigating the crime scene? Do you know who the culprit is no. yet? No, this might not actually be the crime scene. Yeah, injuries in a virtual world could be fatal in the real world, meaning there's a possibility that she was killed in the virtual world, which means the next area to investigate oh, should I be see. the virtual world. We should go there huh? again. See? I just read your mind, didn't I? I did, right? 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 Got it. If that's the case, then I'm coming oh. too. Oh, great, he's coming. You must really like me, huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh, say whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some new clues. With those, I might be able to clear my um. name. May I join you as well? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we all go? Yeah. Oh, so I get to be that avatar what? again. Huh, did you actually like the avatar after no. all? I'm gonna stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing the program. Mm. Go to search this place some more. This is no time to be sleeping. Uh, that's not what we're, uh, well, that's fine. <laughs> then I'll stay here uh -huh. too. Huh? Uh -huh. Surprise. Are you gonna get lonely without your partner? My bad. But I'm busy too, you know? I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do anything deceitful. Huh? Deceitful? See? Well, you and Kaito are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful for him, right? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think Maki would. I think she'll just kill him. If it came down to it, I don't think so. Dang. Goodness. Good thing Gons is here with me. Your glare is too scary to alone to handle. Gonta would risk his life to protect me from a murderer. Huh? He, he like, don't put me in this. I ain't risking my life for you. <laughs> hey, if you keep saying messed up crap like that, I'm gonna kick your ass into orbit. I'm right already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry to the virtual world. Uh, okay. Kaito, let's just focus on solving the case for now. <laughs> fine. Thank goodness. Thank God. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means... So anyway, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Shuichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you, okay? Your talent can save the useless people here, you know? What? Who are you calling I useless? Told you. Enough oh. already. Kaito, let's go. She's like, can y'all just go, please? Hurry it up. Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, Sumigi, and I prepare to enter the virtual world. All right, and that poison bottle's still sitting there. We picked up our helmets again, sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so, so the red, the red cord... cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. Oh my god, girl. Gotta be sure to get it right. If you're that worried, oh my goodness. why don't you use one that's already set up? Right. We place the devices on our heads and flip the switch. All right, let's go back to the virtual world. Huh, I'm looking, I'm looking at Kaito and Kibo for some reason. Kaito, because he was the only one out. And Kibo because he's waterproof, you know? He could go through the water, I'm thinking. Uh-huh, the Neo World program. Oh, shout out to the second game. Hmm. All right, y'all, let's look around. Oh, oh, it's my avatar, look, my avatar. 
So you liked it after all. No. So we're back here. 100%. Apparently we always arrive in this room when we log in. Mm. Muse said that locking in and out is impossible unless we're in this room. Huh? Then how did I get logged out while I was on the rooftop? Okay. Yes, we need to investigate that area too. What should we do? First, we're going to check Mew's avatar, right. right? I think her avatar is still near the yeah. chapel. Then let's head out to the chapel. Okay, so let's go, y'all. Ah, uh, I should check the map before heading to the chapel. Why? We know where we're going. The two maps on the wall, one of the mansion, one of the world. Hmm, I'll check the map of the mansion first. The first floor has a salon, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. The second is the roof. We split up when looking for the out secret of the outside world. Kokichi at the salon, Sumigi the dining room, Kai to the roof, and go to the outside. Okay, this is a map of the entire virtual world. The world is surrounded by walls in all four directions. There's a loading point in the middle, so the map is split in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map loading point. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. You also have to cross a river that runs parallel to it. That's how this world is designed. It's strange. I feel as though there's some secret to this. Hmm. This map was made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. I understand. Looking at maps makes you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? What? What you hmm. talking about, girl? You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, aren't you? No. I, I never did anything like that. You the one that probably cast a spell on a freaking hamster. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't forget, we're here for you, bro. Hmm. Indeed. You're not alone anymore. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw into the shell, you know? Hmm. I'm so proud of you. You made friends with real people, not maps. What, the, what are y'all talking about? I'm investigating, just investigating. You know what, whatever. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, they want me to go to the chapel. I want to look at the important stuff, like the roof. What's up there? Oh, Shuichi, could you please come what with me? What happened? What, what happened? Mm. I found something strange. I don't know if it's relevant to the case, but I'd like to hear your opinion. Regardless, it's right this way. Hmm. Oh. Mm. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. It's cold here. Huh? Huh? Which means... My initial thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. No. Oh, no. I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. Huh? I didn't realize that. That never occurred to me, as I do not need to expel solid waste in the real world. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. Huh? But... It's still strange. Why would toilet paper be in a place like this? Could this be related to the case? Hmm. Why would toilet paper be out here? That makes no sense. All right, let me go to the chapel. Let me go meet up with everybody. Let me see. Okay. Hmm. Hey, so. Hey, isn't this a signboard that Mew threw into the river? Yep, it is. Whoops, my hand slipped. You know. It's not some other signboard, right? She said there's only one of no. them. It's definitely the same. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rocks in the river. Ah, oh, so that's what happened. But, but there's something bothering me. The rocks that the sideboard got caught on weren't on the side of the chapel of the map. They were on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? It just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion, that's odd. The flow of the river. Hmm. Shuichi. Hey, think about it later, bro. Let's get moving. Huh. Let me look at it. Let me look. I want to look at the flow of the river. All right, for now we need to investigate the scene. Huh. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at the flow of the river. Uh-huh. The flow of the river would go that way. Right? It goes to the right. So why would it be to the left? Uh-huh. I see. I see. Uh-huh. Somebody lying. Let me go over here. Am I able to go down? Oh. Yes, oh! Not. The scene of this crime has not been altered since I found her. So there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. Mm -hmm. Huh, that's for sure. I, it's just like how I left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. Okay, that's not relevant. I, if you think I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know? Unfortunately. No, thank you. I don't think I could wait a whole year. Right, that's not even... Why is there a hammer there? Because I could have sworn that she said that weapons were not in here. And that's a weapon. So, what is this? A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Hmm. Actually, look at this stuff scattered around. What happened here? Geez. That's what we're gonna start investigating right now. Isn't that right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Right. And you're a suspect, Kaito. What is this? What is this hammer, hammer doing? Why would there be a hammer in this world? Right. She said there wouldn't be any weapons. Mew said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she missed a hammer. Why, was Mew lying? But why would she lie? Huh. What if she wanted to take somebody out? 
Maybe. Is this a cell phone? There are cell phones in this world, but what could they be used for? No. Huh. That's it. It's a phone, so... Huh, a cell phone. I can't believe there's something like this here. Oh. Kaito, perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. I just want to test Come something on, out. Man. Help you out? Of course. of course. I never say no to a favor for my sidekick. Thank you. Thank you, Kaito. You know, so what do you need me to do? All right? You don't have to do anything. You just have to stand here. Mm -hmm. Huh? I just got to stand here. Kaito Momota. <laughs> oh! Oh! He logged out just as I thought. This can be used to log out just like the phone in the salon. And this proves it doesn't have to be the person themselves. If you just say their name, you can log out anyone you like. All right. Oh, that is dangerous. Oh my God. I see, thanks to Kaito's help, I'm starting to pin this down. Huh? So he could have been logged out from there. I bet Kaito is pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Hmm. hmm. I should apologize for that later. He's, he must be freaking out like, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, um, let's look at this. This is on the roof. Is this a piece of a Latisse? Why is this here? Huh. That is a mysterious uh, object. It's um. a wooden mat. It's used to be common in bathrooms. Huh. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything like it at the chapel. Where did it come from? The roof. That's where I remember seeing it. Not from the chapel. Then why is it here? Yeah. I just figured it out with my magic. You did? I see. Maybe someone used that instead of the signboard to cross the river. <laughs> that someone is the culprit. No. I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if you did use it to cross, there's no reason it would be here. I know that. I was just testing you a little. Why would you want to test me? But what does this mean? What's something like this doing here? I'm not positive why this Latisse is left here, but I'm sure that it must have something to do with the case. Huh. Why was it left there? Mew's avatar is frozen, collapsed in the snow. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies after our mates, makes sense for the killing game the simulator. If the body disappeared, we could investigate. The avatars never show injuries, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. But her face is so pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe she's uh, dead. Okay. Yeah. Aw, don't talk about my baby. That would make me sad again, man. Let's talk to you, Kibo. Um. What's wrong, Kibo? Is something bothering you? I just remembered something. I think the whispering I overheard might be relevant to this case. Uh, you um, overheard whispering? Yes. yes, I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and dispersed to begin searching. Hmm. Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, you. Oh, you heard the conversation? Ooh, what's the tea, mm. Kibo? It would seem Kokichi and Mew had made plans to meet each huh? other. Meet each yes. other? Kokichi was confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain that the rooftop was mentioned. Then, then those two met on the rooftop. Well, but it's strange, right? If they were planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop, why did Mew volunteer to search the area around the chapel? Right. That is true. If they were meeting on the roof, she would have wanted to search the mansion. Mm. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. And with no bridge to cross the river, she could have not gone from the chapel to the mansion. That's true. Something is strange about all this. Okay, y'all, I have a theory. I have a theory again. Okay. Because the river is only flowing one way, right? And it's supposed to go down and to the right. And the same thing with the other river that's like on the bottom is going to the right as well. What if the board went from that river, flew, I mean, fell down the river, and flow with the river to the right, where the black bar is, where the wall is. And it's not really a wall, it's like a Pac-Man thing, where you go to one side and you come back out the other side. What if the board went from there to the other side and then that's how it got stuck on the rock on the mansion side? And I think that's how Mew was able to go from the chapel to the mansion so fast because she told everybody else that we can't go there. And she may have lied because she wanted to be the only one to go back and forth. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, okay. I finished my investigation of this area. Hmm. Shuichi. Shuichi, it wouldn't seem that we're finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah, there's something I wanted to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh, uh, it seems like you could just put stuff in your clothes here too, just like the real world. I see, just like the real okay. world. So what are we gonna do next? Are we going back to the real world oh. already? Before that, there's more place I have to investigate. Mansion rooftop. As I mm. thought. Very well then. 
The place Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet. The place Kaito logged out. I'm positive it has something to do with this case. There should be clues there. Uh, I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do that, Chukichi. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. I mean, what y'all think we was gonna do? There's a dead body here. Y'all trying to prolong um, the process? Shuichi, everyone is counting on you, including Shuichi. myself. Shuichi. Please give the class trial everything you've got and see us through to the end. And I'll do my best as well, of course. Aw, Kibo, you're so nice. Hmm. And I as well. I can at least do that. I am a detective after all. I really think that she could go this way. I don't know. I don't know. Shuichi. Oh. Hey, Shuichi, what was that all about? Sorry. Ka Kaito, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you could log out using a cell phone. Please. Then tell me first. That was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out. I panicked and rushed back uh, here. Okay. Sorry. Stop Come it. on now. That's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't interfering. Wait, why did you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, um, I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. Huh? What's important about the rooftop? Was it me at the chapel the whole time? You found her on the ground next to it. Oh. Um, now, now, let's believe in Shuichi's reasoning. It'll be okay. Shuichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective after all. I'm feeling the love all of a sudden. Before, they were just like, you know, what are you talking about? Now, now they're like, oh, Shuichi's the best detective after all. Sherlock Shuichi, Sherlock Shuichi. Like, wh like where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? I don't know. Hmm. If you're gonna be like that, then do what you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Shuichi is my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. Him and my deductions are his. First of all, you have no deductions. You never do. You never do, Kaito. I love you, but you're lazy. Okay? I love you, but you're really lazy. And two, don't try to buddy buddy up with me, because you can still be the killer, okay? He very much could be. Hey now. What are you, some credit stealing bully? I mean, well, I'm gonna investigate Mew's avatar since I got interrupted last sorry. time. Sorry. Hmm. Well then. Well then, let's go to the rooftop. Yeah, yeah we should. Hmm. I really think somebody should go with Kaito to make sure that he's not trying to tamper with anything over there, but whatever. Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet on this very rooftop. And the person in charge of searching this area, Kaito, was forced to be locked That's out. True. This area must have something to do with the case. Hmm. Huh. What if... What if Mew locked out Kaito so that her and Kokichi could talk up here without him being here, you know? I don't know. Alright, let's look at this. Because I know that Latisse came from here. Hmm. The storage room. It's a little different than how I remember. It feels as if something is missing. It is. The Latisse is gone. The Latisse is gone. It feels, uh huh. I wasn't paying close attention, but I was. There was a Latisse there, and now it's not there. Mm hmm. I remember. I do. Okay. Let's talk. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. It might not be directly connected to the case, but I should expect these binoculars. Hmm. I can see that this building is on top of a hill. And I can't see past this point because it's the map loading point. Hmm. But that is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. I don't know. Let me talk to Kibo. Um. Kibo, did you find anything? Hmm. This is difficult. There's nothing here that seems to resemble a clue. But Mew should have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there are no clues which indicate that. Did Mew ever come to the rooftop? That is an important hey. question. Hey, Kiba, I wanted your opinion on something. Did you think you could get up and down from this roof from outside of the mansion? Well. No, that would have been very difficult. Huh. Hmm. This rooftop is rather high. Even the edge of the roof is roughly the height of a three to four story building. You're right. Yes, certainly too high to jump, fun. which means it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means that the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. I don't think so. Hold up, hold up. I don't think so. You know why? Hold up, let's back it up. Because they say that in this virtual world, nothing breaks, right? So you could use that toilet paper to climb up because it wouldn't break if you were to climb up using the toilet paper for your avatar to climb up on. They used that toilet paper to climb up. They did. Or climb down. They did one of the two. They did one of the two. Or both. They did. Hmm. 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 What's wrong, Himiko? Okay. When murders happen in a mansion in the snow like this, there are always locked room mysteries created by piled up snow, isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can't leave footprints on the snow in this world. Is that something to be disappointed about? Maybe because we can't find clues? Uh, I see. Hey. Huh? What's wrong, Sumigi? Look at that doorknob, it's locked. Uh -huh. huh? It is. It's a thumb turn lock. Easy to lock. It seems like you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. 
And look, the key holder is on this side of the door. Isn't it usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before. To prevent you from locking yourself I out. I see. Hmm, is that so? The zero top has a lock on the door. That's important information. I've inspected everything here. All that's left now is... Oh, Maki. What's going on, girl? Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Maki, why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. Monotaro finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather everyone. Hmm. He's finished. Shuichi. We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, okay. right? Yeah, you're right. I've investigated everything I needed to. Hmm. Shuichi. Well then, we'll head back first. I don't want I don't want to. I don't want to say goodbye to my avatar. Well, get used to it, Himiko. Okay? Get used to it. We got we to gotta investigate who killed my baby view. Okay? So you better get your ass about this program. All right? Sorry. <laughs> Did you like it that much? Then. We should go too. Uh oh, Maki. Hey, What's wrong? You. Well, you're definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. All the others think so huh? too. What? Uh, I'm not trying to sound like Kaito, but I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. You should reach Saihara before you're a detective. Don't ever forget that. <sighs> well, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Harukawa to be an assassin. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Aw, thank you, Maki. It's just sweetheart. Okay. Well, sh was she being considerate just now? Yes, she was, in her in her own way. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it. All right, let's get back downstairs, and let's get out of here. Um, it's just you and me. We should log out, too. Way. By the way, did something happen between you and Kaito? Huh? What? Well, when he logged out a while ago, he looked like he was in a bad I'm mood. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's probably my fault. He's in a bad mood, huh? A killing mood? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Let me get well, out. Um, Shuichi Saihara. <laughs> Okay, I pulled the device off of my head and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi. Well, Shuichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? <laughs> anyway, I felt so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel so unloved. Hey. Um, there's something I want to ask mm -hmm. you. I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in, huh? okay? What? That's a lie. What you do to me? I'm kidding. So what was it you wanted Is to ask? Right? You planned to meet me on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? Uh-oh. Are you mad that we found out? Oh, so you know about that, Shuichi. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met up with you. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked? Um... After I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside um... world, is that true, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Are you doubting That's... me? Can someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? Mm. No, I didn't have a witness. Right? But you can also say that there's no witness who can prove I wasn't there. Hey. Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway. Hmm. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. Shuichi. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. No, we're not. No, we are not. Uh-uh, not even close. Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with Mew or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? Hmm. I think he's telling the truth, maybe. Who knows? Let me talk to the bear. I've been waiting for you, Shuichi. I'm sure Maki already told you, but I'm finally finished analyzing the program. Okay. I'm starting to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He's really trying to be our friend, a little bit at least. First, the person who tampered with this program was Mommy, like we suspected. Mm. Mommy has an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. Oh. I guess her personality wasn't the only eccentric thing about Wait her. A minute. So what did she tamper with? Um. A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. So. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from this killing game simulator. Mm. She says she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? Okay. That's true, only the hammer was left. But why was it left, hmm? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose? Then, did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. Uh, no, that cell phone was an original feature of the program. That implies Mew hid that fact from us, which means um, all Mommy added were the two maps. The rest was already part of the by program. The way, by the way, while we're talking about objects, I want to ask you something. We used the signboards across the river, but we could have used something else as a bridge. Uh, huh, I didn't really see anything that could have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only that signboard could have been used as a bridge. Mm. So what's the next thing she tampered Okey with? Dokey. Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain par parameters of the program. Huh? Parameters? Um. Everything in that program is categorized as either a human or a non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned the human parameter. Really? Parameter. <laughs> but for some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. That's... And what happens when you become an object? Mm. Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Okay, this brings me back to my theory. This brings me back to my theory that, okay, she probably didn't lie about the wall, but she
but she probably didn't tell them that she registered herself as a non-human being so that that way she can go from one side to the other from those wall barriers. And I feel like because she identified as a non-human being, she would be able to do things that the others wouldn't. Okay, it's connecting, it's connecting. But if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Ah. Perhaps that has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in a program. Oh, oh, the coordinates of the virtual world are represented on the x-axis and a y-axis. And it seems Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the y-axis. Huh? She created an additional wall? Huh, so she created that loading screen. There are walls in all four directions and two down the y-axis. But you're positive there's only one? Okay. Yep, it's definitely the only one. What does that mean? I mean, she didn't want us to see her. Which wall was the one you added? What was the world like originally? Mew said there wasn't anything past the wall. Was that another lie? It looks like that extra wall was given a special setting. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through. See, look, 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 look. It's coming together, it's coming together. She, she went through one of the walls to get, to get around. She, she's doing it. I'm seeing you, Mew. We hear Mew. You're dead, but we're here, okay? It allows objects through, huh? I see. I see, it's very interesting. Hey, hey. So are all those things, are all those the things that she tampered ah. with? There's one more thing. Um, one of you guys also had a strange setting given to their avatar. Huh? A strange setting? Okay. Yeah, the setting made it so that they would be unable to move if mommy touched them. Oh, Mew was trying to kill somebody. Maybe Mew was trying to like murder someone and make it seem like it was somebody else. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what Mew doing, I don't know. Then... So if Mew touched them, their avatar would be paralyzed. Hey. Who was it? Oh. Oh, it was Kokichi. Huh? Oh, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> well, duh, I wouldn't know. I never touched Mew in that world. I see, I see, I didn't even notice. Huh, that's all I have to report. Well, do you think it'll help you guys okay. out? That helps a lot, thanks. Let me find out that Mew was trying to kill Kokichi. <laughs> ah. Oh, I should probably tell you this too. Though it's probably not related to the so. case. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first um, time. Um, An error? Mm. The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details, but something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged well. in. I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. What kind of error could it be? That's important information. Maybe Kibos, because we heard him? Maybe? I think it's Kibos. I think it's Kibos. Okay, everyone, time for the class trial. You know that thing where everyone stands in a circle? Oh, my bad. And talks about the dead body. Oh, are you getting bored? Low energy? Me? No, no, I'm excited. Really? Are you? I'm just taking a little break right now. Mm. When I'm done, I'll be my usual energized self. Yeah, really? I'll be way more energized. Anyway, uh. that's all. You know, it is kind of soothing to hear his voice all calm like that. <laughs> hey. You seem like you're not into it at all. We don't have to do the class trial, you know? But it's gonna start, huh? We can, no, can stop it anymore? Right. No, we can't. So. This is all I can tell you guys, but I don't want any of you to forget. Uh, I'm your friend. Huh? He just decided we're friends? Thank you. Thank you, Gonta feel relieved. <laughs> don't worry, Monotaro. Shuichi will get revenge from you's death. That's so mean. And he'll get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. He's right, the culprit is someone Thanks. here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. When the class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other better. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of line that triggers a death play. Okay. Hey, I want a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. That too. Bye. Meeting you all has really... Sorry. Aww. Sorry, it's nothing. I'll save it for after the class trial is finished. Yeah. The flag is mm -hmm. rising. What? What was that? I think I heard something over there. All right. I'll go check it out by myself. What? What? So Where? Long. Farewell. Hmm. Hmm. What did you say? It's waving in the wind. It's stupid. Let's quit screwing around. Let's hurry up and go. Marky is like, can we stop with the theatrics and let's just go, please? Like, let's get this going. Because I really want to figure out who killed her. And who she was trying to kill. Maybe. Go to do his best. Gone to do his best, too. Gone to do his best to be even a little bit useful for everyone. Wow. I'm so excited. I'll definitely expose the culprit this time. <laughs> What's so exciting about this? Hmm. With conflicting emotions in our hearts, we headed to the Shrine of Judgment. Hmm. 
Oh, Mew, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Well, this everyone, huh? There's a lot less of it's us now. To see. This is just half of what we started with. Because we're allowed to this game to continue, we must stop it somehow. Right? But we can't stop it now. We can't let the fun end. Don't. Cut it out. I'm certain this trial will be the last okay. one. Let's focus on surviving this class trial first. I guess. You're right. If we mess up here, our numbers will go down even quicker. It'd just be the culprit left. But... That might be okay. Maybe that's just another way to stop the killing game. If we all die, then the killing game would end. What? Don't say stupid crap like that. It's pointless if we all okay. die. Well, we don't have to worry. We've got the ultimate detective on our side. You're right. Yeah, it's time for the detective to shine. Shuichi, please keep up the good work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do my best. What is up with this new praise everyone's giving me? Yes, I have to keep it together. It's the only time my talent can shine. I'm not just saving my life. Everyone's life is on the line. If I can't find the truth here, everyone will be sacrificed. And I will never let that happen. Come on, Hey, Shuichi, you're getting all huh? tense. Huh? I mean... Didn't I tell you before? Shuichi, don't carry the burden all... Get it? And didn't I tell you before not to get in the way, Kaito? Uh, huh? What's your problem? Really don't We're all relying on Shuichi to carry our asses through the trial, okay? At least he's... At least he's being truthful. Because nobody in this trial ever helps me. They'll be like, oh, I know this important piece of information, but I'm gonna let Shuichi or Makoto figure it out. Like, come on. You're like a parrot repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering him. I think that's the most annoying thing you can do to Shuichi. You know that? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not... Shut up. Kokichi, you're annoying. Oh, don't. whoa. Killer girl's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seemed to do the trick as Kokichi turned around dejected. Please. Finally, that pest is gone. Thanks, Maki girl. <sighs> Just suck it up, Kaito. Now's not the time to be bickering with each Got other. It. Ah, my bad. Um, Sorry. Kaito, I'm mm -hmm. okay. Huh? Wow. I know what you want to say, Kaito. You don't have to I worry. I believe in you. I see. In that case, I'll believe in you and don't, won't say anything else. Shuichi! But if you have any problems, let me know. I'll help you. I'm here for you, Thank bro. you. Thank you, Kaito. He's still suspicious to me. I don't know. He's still suspicious. He still is. All right, let's get this going. It, it, it gotta be either Kaito or Kibo or Kokichi, the three Ks. I'm not gonna say it all together because it's gonna sound like something else, but three Ks, okay? Mm-hmm, let's go. The eight of us got into the elevator. The door shut behind us, and like all those times before, we descended. It was dead quiet. The only sound I could hear was the beating of my heart in my ears. My body was trembling. The more I tried to control it, the worse it got. There's no way to get used to it, really. The fear of death. We were all fighting it, trying to be courageous. We all felt as though we were going to our own execution. No, not an execution. A test of our will to survive. Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened. And though I cannot explain it, my body stopped trembling. Welcome. Go ahead and stand behind any open podium. Aw, move your asses. You don't want to see what I'll do to you if you keep father waiting. Oh, he got beat up because he uh, helped us. Aw. Huh? Wait, is he back to normal? Huh? You're not friend no more? You jerks must feel pretty slick using Monotaurus' forgetfulness to befriend him. He just decided on his own that we were friends. But I won't let you guys trick Monotaur anymore because he's already forgotten. He may have forgotten that he was on daddy's side, but now he's forgotten that he had forgotten that he was on daddy's side. Thanks to me, because I smacked the stocking out of him. How confusing. Well, whatever. Really? I can't remember, but one of you guys is the culprit, right? <laughs> I can't be in the same room as the killer. It's dangerous. Hey. I'm going to go lock myself in my room, maybe even set up a barricade. Hey. That's another death anyway. flag. Let's get it started. The heart racing excitement as the blacking and the spotless face off. All right, y'all. We went to our podiums, as always. We knew what we had to do. There was no protest left in us. It's already the fourth time the fourth class trial was about to begin. Baby Mew! <laughs> she may have given us a lot of trouble, but we all miss her. It's a tragedy, after all. She helped me and Kaede with those cameras, gave Kibo extra functions, and in the end, she had done a lot for us. She was the MVP, yo. And the culprit that killed her is one of you bitches. One of you. One of y'all. That would kill Mew, that helps y'all. I need to discover who that is. Hmm. In order to survive, I have to find the culprit. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. <laughs> truth and lies? <laughs> All right, class trial in session. Let's get it going. I'm ready to catch that damn kill. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. Okay. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Excuse me? Huh? You mean like... The tie? He's still drowsy. <laughs> he 
<laughs> He's still tired out. <laughs> it means they're both the blackened. Hmm. As long as one of them is correct. It's fine. He didn't care. He's like, look, just get somebody, all right? <laughs> Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? He don't care no more. Yeah, he does not care. Fine. Whatever. Hmm. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. Hmm. What game? How long are you going to keep saying that? Just it's like a team fess up. <laughs> the rest of us need to work together to find the truth. We sure do. Got it? We can't die here. I'm with you. Oh, my. Hmm. Himiko has become so determined. Yeah, I know, right? It's true. Surprising. People really do change. Hmm. But now she's lost what made her so unique. And you, too. It's like y'all switched, basically. <laughs> That's none of your business. Oh. We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... Oh. Kaito's the culprit. Oh? What? Say that to my face. He's been saying it this whole time, Kaito. I don't know if you've been listening, but he's been sussing you the whole time since the beginning of this investigation, okay? <laughs> While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? He sure did. You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? It sure looks like it, but we don't have all the evidence yet. Don't screw around. There's no way I'm the culprit. Hmm. Kaito right. Kaito couldn't have killed me. Maybe. How long are you going to keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. He has a point. Like, yes, the people that you trust could kill you. Like, we need to stop doing that. Like, how are we ignoring the first trial? How it was me? And I didn't even know? Like, come on now. We already saw that a bunch of times. Yep. See, like so I said. many times since Kaede. Like I said, like I said, man. Yup, you know, the fact that Kaito was the only one logged out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. Do we know that? We don't know for sure. We don't know for sure. So, it could very well be him. I don't want it to be him, because I like him too. So... Kaito logged out first by himself. Uh-huh. Miu was still logged in, though. Mm -hmm. That's when we poisoned her, right, Kaito? Oh, wait, Kaito oh, wait, what? Culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it. Hmm. I mean, we found that bottle of poison on right. Kokichi's seat, didn't we? We sure the did. was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Oh, well, uh -oh. Kaito, any last words? Hmm. What do you mean, last words? <laughs> You're like, y'all gonna kill me here? <laughs> First, we need to decide if Mew was killed in the real world or the virtual world. Hold on, let's let's skip that. Let's skip that. There we go. Uh-uh. Oh, 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 wait, oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, okay. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it, I missed it man. I missed it. All right, let's get let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh-huh. And then right. What what? Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Uh-uh, hold up. Wrong. Hold up, Kokichi, because that was on your seat. That bottle of poison was on your seat. What you got to say? Huh? You wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. And plus, it'll be an instant death, too. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. Mm -hmm. In other words, A long your eyes word would for... be bloodshot. Yeah, for bloodshot red. Oh, but Mew's body. Mm -hmm. She didn't have that. That's right. She had Her tears. Eyes weren't bloodshot. Mm. She wasn't killed by that poison. Hmm. She had tears though. Then My what baby. was that poison for? A diversion. a diversion. Right. The culprit wanted us to think Miu died by poison. Kokichi, maybe. Then, what was her real cause of death? Hmm. Miu's real cause of death. The only one I can think of. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, the loud, the loud noise. Or is it is it that? No, I mean uh, I know what I mean. I know what I mean, man. All right, I know. I, I know wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yes, yes. I I knew what I meant in my mind. Like the loud noise could be her like dying, but never mind. Never mind. Forget it. It's probably that. This is it. That's what it was. My God. My God, Jez. <laughs> Mew's cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. Mm -hmm. In the virtual world. If your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. Right, why is Kaito looking suspicious? Why he looking kind of weird? That was made huh. clear in the program's text file. 
Mio received mm. fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. Mm -hmm. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Very true. Um, Gonta has question. Yes, sweetie. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? Gonta, Gonta, you gotta be paying attention, baby. Like, I love you, but like, come on, come on, come on, come, come on don't now. If you don't understand, then don't say anything. Come on, if yes. If was killed Thank in the you, virtual Maki. world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual that world. That is the question. That so is the question. The cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Mm. Uh, um. What? What, Gonta? It seems like Gonta is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? What is it, Gonta? Um. So we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. Mm hmm. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta. And Kaito. That NPC Kaito. Oh, huh, he's the NPC. Hey, oh, who you call an NPC, you ASS? <laughs> and okay, the I like that one. the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. Yes. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? Hmm. That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Hmm. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Uh, Too bad your chest hasn't grown up though. Oh, uh, and what about you down there? Are you growing up down there? Cause I don't even, I don't even see no facial hair on you. So when are you gonna grow up? Huh? How about that? That was uncalled for. Someday my chest will grow like crazy. You're fine how you are, baby. Don't don't let them try to change Let's begin you. Then. Don't let them try to change you. Ha having having weight on your chest is not all cracked up as it as you think it is to be. Like it, it ain't fun sometimes. That's why I don't like running. That's why I don't like running. Okay. The fatal damage that Mew received in a virtual world. Let's pin that down. Hmm. All right. It was a loud crash, so I don't know. I don't know right now. I feel like I need more in the information that's world, here. Mew was in fatal the injured. Hmm. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Mm -hmm. Whatever did that to you? Uh huh. Was dropped right next to her avatar. Mm. It has to be the hammer. Mm. Or going to beat her with his bare hands. I don't think so. Oh my God. Blunt force was involved. Mm. I think strangulation is more likely. Yes. Yes, it is. It's yes, possible it is. she was pushed from a great height. Or Could that. She have drowned? No. 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 She couldn't have because she was a non. Object, non-human object, right? So we have to determine the specific cause of death. If I think about the condition of Mew's body, that should yield a clue. So the virtual world. Let's, nope, not that one. Okay, not that. I think it was strangulation. Nope. Nope. This was involved. No. Okay, that one. Maybe that. Oh shit! No. No. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she oh, okay. Let me let me let me fast forward again. Let me fast forward again. Virtual world, Mew All right. Fatally... So All right. Cool. Got it. Got it. Okay. Did I not hit the thing that I was supposed to hit? Okay. Isolation is more likely. Okay. Let's 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 get that gone and let's hit that. There we go. Okay. I I, I missed the I missed the silencer thing. I missed the silencer thing. That's what I was supposed to hit. Got it. <laughs> Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah, like look at her body. She's like grabbing for her neck. Yeah. Look. She looked like she suffered. Huh. Very hard to look at. And y'all keep showing it to me. Y'all keep showing it to me. I don't know what she looks like, man. Don't stop. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. Mm -hmm. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Yep. Knowing that. Mm -hmm. I believe Maki is correct. Mm. Mew was strangled to death. Who's the bitch that did it? Who's the bitch that killed Mew, man? Like, oh my god. Yeah, oh my definitely. god. Mm. Mm. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. Yep, and we, we know poison is in one. The possibility of poison. Right. So it can only be strangulation. Thank you, Maki. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. Not their neck. But Mew was holding her throat. Yeah. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Mm. Oh, my poor baby oh. Mew, man. The assassin master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. Maybe because she's an expert in it. How about that? 
You know what, Maki, just get him. Just get him. Like, Monokuma is already over this class trial. You just go ahead and kill him right now. I'm probably sure that he wouldn't even care either. Like, come on. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? Yes. If the avatars were equally strong, uh -huh. it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Hmm. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Oh, yes, they could have. Would need a tool. But they could have because she's a non-human object, so wouldn't they be stronger than her? I don't know. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Hmm. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. Would you like her to try it out on you, Kokichi? Would you like her to try it? Was huh? there even a rope in that world? No. I don't remember seeing one. Mm -mm. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Hmm. Something for a rope. I have an idea of what it might be. I found it during the investigation. The Latisse? The Latisse? That? Oh my god! Are you serious? Damn it. Are you serious? Oh my god, Jasmine. What is going on? What is go Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Let's look at everything. Let's look at everything. Uh, oh, the toilet paper made me... Uh, hmm? The toilet paper? This is it! Okay, the toilet paper, because it doesn't break. Okay, alright. During the investigation, right. we found toilet paper outside the mansion. Mm-hmm. We sure did. See, I thought that they used that to climb up something, not to choke somebody. Okay. Uh. I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Hmm. Gonta, no can ignore that. Oh? Gonta? What, what, what are we doing here, Gonta? What you mean, Shuichi? What you mean? Huh? What's, What's wrong? Ma what wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. And this coming from the one that didn't even know where the virtual world was? Go to what you talking about? What, what is going on right now? What is going on? We wasting time, Gonta. We wasting time. We wasting time. We wasting time. We are wasting time. I don't even want to hear what you got to say. I don't even want to hear what you got to say, There's okay? No time for Hold nonsense. Up. Yeah, it isn't. So why are we doing this, Gonta? Why are we doing this? Toilet paper in place of rope. Yes, we can. When things don't break. What tear too easy. No. Nope. Even Gonta know that. And Gonta nope. not smart. Yeah, oh yeah, it, it shows. It's no, showing right I'm now. positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. Right. Because it you can't break. Died such an awful death. Hmm. Why Hold do on. you not take this seriously? I am. You call yourself ultimate detective? Oh, you want, you want to insult me, Gosa? Use your head. Oh, oh, okay. You're out. Real murder weapon. Okay, I know what it is. I know what it is, no, baby. No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. Okay, oh wait, what? There's no time for nonsense. Okay, so let me... No can use toilet paper. Uh-huh. In place of rope. Yes, you can. Would tear too easy. No. I'll cut through your There words. we go. I'm like, no, it wouldn't. I thought there was gonna be like a second round. So that's why I'm like, okay. <laughs> the toilet paper wouldn't tear. Right. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Exactly. Unbreakable? Yes. Did you forget that? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? Man, I'm not gonna if make fun of him. If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. Exactly. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. It sure could. Gonta not really understand, but... Mm -hmm. Sorry, Shuichi. Gonto was wrong. It's okay. It's all right. It's you okay, understand Gonta. now. Don't worry about it. Right. Don't worry. Killed by toilet paper. <laughs> it was a fitting end for her. What y'all trying to say? She an asshole? Huh? <laughs> a fitting end? I do not fully understand that They try to say that she's an asshole. But if you was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Hmm. Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. Hmm. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. There was a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was hmm. the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Very true. Where Perhaps does that come the culprit from? prepared a backup weapon, just in case. Hmm. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. Oh? No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Right. Wait, we already know who brought that hammer. The person who brought that hammer is... Kokichi? If the culprit didn't, then it was Mew, it was Mew, right? That's it. 
Well, okay, there we go, there we go. Mew. <laughs> Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mm-hmm. Mew bring hammer? Yep. Remember what she told us? Mm-hmm. She said that there are no other weapons. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She said there are no other weapons, yeah, so that means she that did say she, she brought deleted it in. any dangerous objects. Mm-hmm. If that were true. She wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Exactly. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. Hmm. On purpose? But why she do that? Hmm. Mew brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? We need to make that clear. I don't know. I think that she was trying to kill Kokichi. I don't know. I feel like she was trying to kill Kokichi. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, let's assume the meeting. that Mew brought the hammer. Mm-hmm. What was she planning to do with it? Kill Kokichi. Maybe use it to break down a wall? No. Uh-uh. This is for a hammer. Mm -mm. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. No, baby. Probably just brought it for self-defense. Mm. Or she secretly met up with someone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold up, hold up. She did. She did meet up I with agree. you. She did meet up with you. So what's up? Well, she tried to meet up with you, but never did, so. Mew was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With me. <laughs> he said, mm -hmm. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? Yes. I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. Hmm. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. Oh, really? I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good mm. thing Keyboy spied on us. Oh. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? Hmm. If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. To kill your ass, maybe. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to kill him. Kill him. That's it. Kill him. She was planning to kill his ass. Yes. She yes, was going to Mew. kill Kokichi. Yep. She was what? Yep. Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. Mm. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Okay. Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues you found, I can figure something out. All right, then let's do it. What, what, what? Let's do what? Oh, okay, all right, all right, let's get it! Hooker time! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Ooh, 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 my bad, my bad. Hit the gas, Jazz. Hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the gas. Hit these Mario Kart boxes. <laughs> Boom. There we go. She wanted to kill his ass. She wanted to off him all. I don't even blame her. She said, you know what? I'm gonna kill somebody in this virtual world. It's gonna be Kokichi too. <laughs> and then maybe she tried to set him up to make it look like he poisoned himself. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But then she would have been betraying all of us so that she can get out by herself. I don't know. Huh. She was trying to set this man up. She was trying to set him up. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get around the cars. There we go. There we go. And let's hit that. Bam. Who tried to kill the key? Okay, we already know. We already know it was Mew, all right? We already know that. There we go. Who tried to kill Kokichi? It was Mew, okay? All right, so where's the, where's the that? All right, it's thinking time. All righty. All right, let's get it now. We know who the answer is. We already know. All right, Mew Iroma, right. Well, Kiba would want to kill him. Actually, all of y'all want to kill him. But Mew was the one for this case. Mew was the one for this case. We got one good hooker. Let's get another one. All right. Let's see. All right. Ooh. Let's see. Uh-huh. Well, so something. I don't know what that says yet. Let's see. Bam. Bam. Oh, I missed that one. Bam. Bam. I'm not trying to swerve all over this damn road. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Got that one. Okay, that's a car. That is a car. Okay, let's not hit that. Let's not hit that. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Okay, let's get around them. They had a lot more cars now. They had a lot more cars now. Okay. Where was me trying to kill him? On the rooftop. And off his ass inside the killing game. Yep. All right, let's go. Hey, you already got one hooker. Let's get the other ones. All right. Now, the virtual world. Yep, the virtual world. There we go. There we go. Bing! Bing! Got another good hooker! All right, let's get another one. Let's fill this car up. Look like a pimp. Let's do it. All right, next question. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. You know, I like this. I love driving in a 
car with these hookers. It's so it's so relaxing in this class trial. It really is. My bad, y'all. I slowed down just a little bit because I was distracted. All right. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we missed that one. Damn it. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Uh. Keep going. Keep going. Uh. All right. There we go. All right. Let's get these last ones on the right side. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Get around that. There we go. Woo. All right. Oh. Why was the bottle poison on Kikichi's seat to set him up? Just well to make it look like he poisoned himself. Make it look like he poisoned himself, and she'll get away with the kill. That's why. That's why. Okay. Okay. To divert attention. Yeah. Or or that. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. I was almost gonna press a uh, hidden evidence because like it's kind of like she's hiding the body in a way. Like she killed him another way, but she's hiding it with the poison. So I was about to mess up. <laughs> there we go. We know. We got it. <laughs> She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. Mm -hmm. She placed the poison on my seat to make <gasps> us think the murder happened in the real world. Oh, she tried to set up Kaito then. That means that she tried to set up Kaito because she used the cell phone, right? She used the cell phone to make him go out to make it seem like Kokichi is dead because of him being out. Oh, wow. She was trying to get out Kaito. Wow. He did that too? Wow, Mew? Mew was the one who put that poison bottle there? Yes. No, that ain't right. No. Nah. She's definitely weird about that. She was trying to set your ass up. She was trying to set you up. Uh, Kaito, <laughs> make you look like the killer. Okay? I don't know. Man. Okay, okay, okay. When could Mew have put the poison there? Mm. If she did place the poison without us noticing, yep. then she must have logged out at some point. Uh-huh. Oh wait, no, no, what? she didn't. Log back in? No. Kokichi, mm. weren't you in the salon around that time? Yes, he was. Did you see her log in or log out at all? <laughs> nope, I didn't see that at all. Hmm. If she hadn't logged in or out, uh-huh. Then you couldn't have placed the poison. Uh then who put poison bottle? The only person huh. who logged out early was Kaito. That's true. Kaito, your grave just got 10 feet deeper. <laughs> oh, no, man. It wasn't me, guys. Oh, huh. Let's see. If the poison is planted evidence, the question is when it was planted. If you determine the when, we might be also able to determine the head. It's the login, logout record. Uh huh. Okay, not that. Let's get that. Nope. No, nope. that right there. Okay, let's get that out and then let's hit that. Bam. There we go. There we go. Cause she had that cell phone, she can go ahead and matrix your ass out of there. Okay. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. Mm -hmm. She had plenty of time to do it. Mm -hmm. Here, take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? Yep. That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Oh, she could have done it when everybody went in. Oh, very true. Very yeah, true. What about it? If she logged in last, mm -hmm. she nobody could see her do it. around in the real world after the previous person logged in. Mm -hmm. That right. She could have placed poison bottle on Kokiji's seat. Right. This was all part of Mew's plan. Uh -huh. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, uh -huh. make us think it happened in the real world, and frame Kaito. And then pin the crime on Kaito. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that's not my fault. Which mm. is why she manually logged you out. Yep. Just for that purpose. Yep. So she did that to me? She sure did. Yes, I'm positive of that. Mm -hmm. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. Yep. Ooh, Mew. How did Mew log out Kaito? I already know that. Okay, the cell phone. Where's the cell phone? Cell phone. Okay, there we go. There we go. We this got that one right. <laughs> we know that. It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. Mm -hmm. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. And that's what I did to I you, Kaito. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Mm hmm. Ah, huh. Kaito Momota. Then he got out, just as we thought. Mm -hmm. I see. With that cell phone, 
She could force anyone to log out at any time. She sure could. But you never mentioned a cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. Yep, and she, she held it away from all of us. Purpose, yep. So she could use it for the murder. Man, Mew! She really was planning a murder. But we're not mad that it's Kokichi that she was trying to kill. <laughs> like, like nobody is sitting there saying like, oh my God, she was trying to kill Kokichi? Like, they're just like, oh, she's trying to kill Kokichi. Damn. <laughs> like, that's it. And she tried to set me up. Yep. Well, I knew that from the start. Hmm. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Hmm. Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. Oh? People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. True. True. He has a well, point. I think your ideals should stay the same. Hmm. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Hmm. Don't you agree? Monokuma. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I? I don't know about that. What? Well, why, why are you not? Wait. What were we talking about? What? Why? Are you here? Like, what's going on? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. I don't know. Yeah. If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Oh no, huh? she's dead. <laughs> yeah. My head. I feel like. I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Look, he's falling apart. Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. Oh! What you mean? Well, a blessing for you, Because so. she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. Hmm. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know? Very true. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. Yep, and everybody else and would be dead, And you never know that probably. the murder actually took place in the virtual world. Mm -hmm. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Yep, she knew everything. And the everything. reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... So that she could kill Kokichi, set it up on Kaito, let it be wrong, and all of us die and she live and get out the game. Damn, Mew! Wow! You guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet, but once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So let's just dive right on in, okay? We'll do it together. <laughs> Mew, oh my god. She we go there so she could kill us. Yes. A shady person. My god, Mew. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. Now they're happy that she's gone. <laughs> nice. Backstabbed by a trusted friend. Mm. See? That's an ideal fun situation. Mm -mm -mm. Now we can start a real class trial. Oh my god. Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Oh. Oh? Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. Are you sure? No. You're just like Monokuma. Hmm. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Oh. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Sometimes. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. True. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. That's probably why he likes them so much. Because they get to <laughs> they're, they're there with each other. Coward. Aren't you gonna do something? No. Yeah, yeah. I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? <laughs> there, I did it. Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad, Monokuma? I don't know why. He's completely lost his train. Uh. Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. Hmm. Uh, my, my head. <laughs> What's are you up, remembering Kokichi? stuff? The hell with this game of suspicion crap. I will never be okay with it. Oh? I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Okay, Instead Kaito. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Hmm. Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of oh. course I can. <laughs> I don't need your permission. Hey, hey. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. Maki is always on the objective. I love her, yo. She's like, look, are y'all done now? Can we get to the real information? <laughs> if we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die. You know that? Right. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Are you? If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, mm. let's start with Kokichi's story. Okay. Huh? My story? Hmm. You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. Right. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Hmm. You didn't? 
I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. Okay. Isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have nope. been able to open it easy. The lock was on the other side. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, hmm. I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. Hmm. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. Right. But was the door to the roof actually locked? It could When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Hmm. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? Right. I already told you. How should I know? Ah. When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. Hmm. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. <laughs> he wants to be more um, interesting by lying. Who knows? Good if you're the culprit. Hmm. That, very true. Yup. Oh. Mm hmm I see. <laughs> I that? didn't realize that. Yeah, you what see that now, of right? What is that? That's suspicious as hell. Hmm. Wait. There's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we huh. get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? Yeah, we don't know who did it. circumstances surrounding her death. Hmm. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Look, I'm tired of your sarcastic remarks, okay? We, we just want to get through this trial, yes, all right? keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, hmm. what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. Hmm. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. Right. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Mm-hmm. Whoops, my hand slipped and then it went down. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh. Huh? So she stood no. me up? She Very may have. rude to break a promise. Sumigi <laughs> saw her, though. It's true. First, we need to determine if Mew was actually there or not. Did she go, or was she never on the roof at all? But Sumigi saw her through the window. So she may have been on her way there. Maybe. Yeah, okay, Sumigi. We gotta, we gotta get Sumigi Mew Sumigi's was waiting account. for me to arrive. Hmm. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. Not on the roof. Mew should have been at the chapel. She should have been, yes. Look at where her avatar fell. Hmm. It's right next to the chapel. Okay. How would she have gotten to the mansion? Huh. There was no bridge over the river. There wasn't. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, um. her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! Uh, oh, please! Save from crocodile tears! At first glance, it seems as if it's impossible for me to go to the mansion. But there has to be some evidence that shows it was possible. Yeah. Not there. Okay, there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait! Shoot! Shoot! God! Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's skip it, let's skip it, man. I keep missing. I don't know what's up with me in this Zangarampa B3 game, but my shooting is ass on this one. My God. Okay, there we go. Shoot it. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sumiki saw her through the window in the mansion. So, let's get that. You must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw Why me- Why are they jumping back the there? <laughs> then why didn't you say so sooner? <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> I thought I was just mistaken at first. Right. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. Hmm. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely me. It sure was. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? I have no idea. It must have been some special method only you knew, like mm -hmm. with that cell phone. Uh huh. There's but I no think I think that. that's true. That's why she dropped the bridge. Uh huh. If the murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. Smam, you is smart, man. I, I just got to give her props. She was a, if if she didn't die. Everybody would have died up in this class trial, okay? Everybody would have been dead. So Mew is a smart one. She is a smart one. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. Mm -hmm. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. Hmm. So what secret method did she use? Huh. It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. Girl! <laughs> no worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything no. will be a No, 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 no. I need y'all to use y'all brains.
brain sometimes too, okay? I know I'm a detective, but that don't mean that y'all can't use your brains to figure shit out too. Like, come on. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. Thank you. This is trials for all of us. We're here to solve this together. Thank you. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Oh. Shut up. Ooh. I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now, I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Miu used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay, I just had to figure out what it was. So, what was it? I'm pretty sure that she got through from like the walls of the game. I really feel like it is. The wall added by Mew, yep. The wall added by Mew, uh-huh. Like a hidden bridge besides that signboard maybe. No. Or instead of bridge. Uh-uh. Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Not at all, baby. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Uh-uh. Or she used a warp zone. No. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. Hmm. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. Oh, that one, that one, that one. There we go, there we go, that's it, that's it. Yep, a hidden one that she used and she tampered with the plane. That's the it, parameters. Oh, there was a hidden route only Mew could use. Mm -hmm. hmm? Was there really? Yes, there was. Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. Mm-hmm. The wall stretches along the y-axis, mm -hmm. but we found two such walls in the virtual world. Yep. Okay, oh, it's oh, yeah, It's unclear yep, whether those. Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. Mm. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. be naive, Shuichi. Yep. Oh, oh, he's just gonna cut him off? That kind of scared the life. I ain't gonna lie, that was mm. kind of scared of me right there. What I scratched I my don't... ear. <laughs> Jeez, Mew set up a weird wall like that? Yes. That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Why does it not? Nothing to do with it. Why? Why does it not, Kaito? You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? What are you? Are you losing your mind? What the hell? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Kaito, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about right now. Come on, you know what, man? Come on. Come on now. Kaito, you weren't even here. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What F. we gotta figure out? Uh -huh. how you got from the chapel to the mansion, right? So why uh -huh. waste time talking about the impop? It's pointless. No, it's not. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Yeah, yeah, you need to be quiet no, wait and let just the detective a second. do his work. It's not about actually that? impossible at all. Right. But you just said so, didn't you? Oh my god. That wall you set up. Uh-huh. Only let non-human objects go through it. Humans okay. aren't able to pass through. Yes, correct. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. Yes, she she's would. She's not just an object after all. Yes, she is. I'll because through your words. she set herself up to be an object. She don't even know all the information, Kaito. Sit it out. Sit this the one wow out. The wall wasn't the only okay. thing that Mew changed. Right. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. Exactly. From human to object? Yes. Which means... The virtual world treated her avatar as an object. Mm -hmm. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Exactly. Is that right? Uh-huh. Don't get That's ahead right. of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. Right, I didn't even get to I finish saying my sentence. You, the more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally oh lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Oh my god. Kikuchi, enough! Right, I like, should we stop? With him. I was just... I don't care. Oh. That doesn't bother me at all. Oh, yes, it does. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Oh, Kaito. Okay. All right, all right. Since we're <laughs> done with that, let's get back it's to what I was saying. pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, oh please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. Right, they're like, can we just so, keep this going? If Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, Mm -hmm. Then her secret route was through that wall? Yes. That's it, right? Uh-huh. Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. Mm -hmm. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. She sure but did. even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because mm. Mew said... Oh? What'd she say? No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world, literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. But she could be lying about that too. She like she lied about everything else. There right. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Right. You lied. 
Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't catch on to it, Kokichi. I wonder what the truth is. Hmm. There's no way to find out now. That mm. cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. Oh, well, we know that now, Kokichi. Jeez. She lived a and life of pride, vulgarity, her. and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. So how Kokichi, would you not notice? You know have to go that far. Mm -mm -mm. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! That's right. Stick up for your mama. Stick up for your mama. <laughs> yep. Listen to you talking about mommy. Mm -hmm. She was a terrible lying whore. That's right. But Stick up for her. wasn't lying. There was no hidden uh, room in that virtual world. Okay, hold on now. Yes, yes, there was. Huh? Yes, there was. Oh, <laughs> hold there up, hold up. Huh? Yes, there was. You lost me, Monotaro. Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint. Oh? Oh. If you say that hint is important, oh, then, then I it, guess must, it be must be true. Right, hold up. Oh, shit. Hold up. That so there isn't a is hidden passage. You look at your cute. He's like, I will kill your ass. <laughs> Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden route, okay, so there's why no did she hidden manipulate route. the program? Hmm. Hmm. If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. Or so that she couldn't Maybe die? I don't I don't meaningless. I don't know. She would have had a plan. Of course she would. Yes. Mew hmm. definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. Why? Right. We aren't sure why yet. But once we solve the mystery of the virtual world, hmm. mystery of virtual world? Oh my God! Here we go again. There have oh been my a God. lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. Hmm. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. Mm -hmm. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, hmm. let's clear up those strange occurrences. To make it seem like she's still on the side of yeah. the chapel, maybe. Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Gonta, just speaking just of they're strange looking. occurrences. I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Hmm. Remember? That thing that made us notice oh. all the strange occurrences? The loud noise? The events that led us here? Huh. What is the question? What strange occurrence happened? Oh, wait. The... The loud noise? This is it! Right, okay, the loud noise. There we go. This time is correct. I got it you wrong earlier. You the loud earlier. sound <laughs> that you and I heard in the kitchen? Mm-hmm. I remember. It was a loud bang, and then we heard Kibo's voice outside. So I have no idea what that was. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You all heard that sound too? Yes. Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. Hmm. But that sound occurred near the chapel. Oh. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? Hmm. First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Mm -hmm. Did that sound really come from the chapel? It could have, though. I still feel like that that wall that wall. It's like they're close together. I feel like the mansion and the chapel are actually close together. But they move the map somehow to make it like they're far apart. I don't know. That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. Mm. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. We sure did. We sure did. Uh-huh. And then he said, oh, no. Mm-hmm. I think that they're close together. I feel like they're or close together. Voice too? Yes. What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. Mm. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. I think that they're okay. close together. Well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. Oh? There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? What? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? <laughs> you think Gonta is suspicious of me? <laughs> I always thought you would be the one to trust me. No, screw you. Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. Gonta, don't apologize. There's no need to apologize to right. him. He's probably just lying again. Mm -hmm. What was the other strange occurrence? Hmm. Did you see it, Chewie? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like Mew in a mansion or that loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. Huh. What? Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. All right. Man. Oh, Lord. Okay. What's the question? What weird phenomenon happened in the virtual world? Okay. Bet. I'm going to just hit these until I see something. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on over there. Um. Oh, oh. That. That. That board. That board right there. That board right there. Oops. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. You know what? It's that. It's that. It gotta be that. Crap. 
Come on, come on. Oh, I gotta get rid of these. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Bam. All right. Okay, get rid of that. I'm so sorry. I gotta take time off because I'm trying to get this right. Right, what? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Whatever, whatever. God. Okay, this! Damn. Like, come on. I see. <laughs> God, man, I will take the time off. Good Lord. That's what I get for pressing blocks the everywhere you randomly. The sign a bridge was odd to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Odd how? We mentioned how would it, it end before, up there? but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Right, it continues <laughs> on to the other side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Yep. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused with how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. All right, here we go. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, another side taxi! I like doing these, okay. All right, let's go. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, okay. I, <laughs> I did not know that my car was gonna do that. I had no idea that it was gonna turn like that. All right, all right, all right. All right, oh, oh, the boxes are moving now. Hold up, hold up. The box is moving now? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alright, let's get this. <laughs> I can't believe I started off about to crash my car. That is so, so ridiculous. Okay, alright, let's hit this. Bam. Bam. Oh, 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 damn, I missed one. Okay, what's it say? What's it say? Oh, a dag. I missed a lot. Okay, come on, come on, Jazz. Come on, hit the. Oh, shoo! Let me move around the car. At what point was the signboard swept away? Hmm. At which point? What do they mean? When or like where? Do they mean where or when? I have no idea. So let's see. What are they talking about? At which point was it? Okay, the river. Right, okay. All right, all right. That was easy. Got one hooker. Let's get another one. Hey. All right, all right. Oh, 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 okay. Y'all trying to, y'all trying to, uh, juke me. These boxes trying to juke me, huh? Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's get on. Damn, I missed that one. Okay, let's get that. Ah, let's get that one. Come on. You know what? One of these hookers should put out their arms so that that way we can hit these boxes. That's what they should do. That's what they should do. Y'all riding in here for free already. Come on now. Put your arm out, girl, so we can get these boxes. Stick it out. I know you're flexible. Come on. Ah! Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, where's the end of the river? Uh, what? Like what side? Like what, what side are you talking about? I don't... Where's the end of the river? The, the mansion side is the end, right? Shit! Oh, I just killed one. I just killed one. Oh my god. Oh my god. The chapel side? The train? I don't know. Uh, shit! Okay, 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 it was the chapel side. It was the chapel side. Okay, I, I killed two hookers already. I killed two hookers already. Good Lord. Good Lord. I cannot believe. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. My God. I done, I've already murdered some people. My goodness. The cops should be on their way. The cops should be on their way to come get me. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Let's hit this. Bam. I didn't, that was a trick question to me though. I'm like, what do you mean the end? Cause it kind of, it looks like it flows together. So I had no idea which one was the right answer. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Hit that, and bam. Okay, where's the signboard? Okay, we know that, we know that. It was on the mansion side. It was on the mansion side, okay? We know that. That last one was a quick, uh, it, was a, it was a trick question. It's a trick question, cause I, it, it doesn't end. So the mansion side was where it was found. Bam. There we go. There we go. We good. We good. Oh, we picking up another hooker? Our car is full. Our car is full. So how are we picking up another one? How are we picking up another one? Huh? Please tell me. Where's she gonna fit at? The trunk? Like, where, where are we putting her at? Is she sitting in somebody's lap? She ain't sitting in mine. I'm driving this car. She ain't sitting in my lap. So I don't, I don't know what they want us to do. Okay. 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 All right. Let's hit these. There we go. 
Uh huh. Y'all come together. There we go. Let's hit that one. Bam. 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 There we go. Okay. Compared to the river's current, which way did the sidewalk go? To the right. It went down to the right. So, yes. Yes, it went to the right. So they're close together. With the current. It went with the current. Right. It went with it. What? What? Okay, man. It went with it, but it ended on the other side. Man, they knew what I was talking about, man. Whatever. Whatever. Get your ass in this car, man. Whatever. Come on. Come on now. Y'all know what I meant. It looked like it flowed and then went to the other side. The sign was carried against the river's current. But see, appeared, appeared, but it, where it actually went was with the current. So that's why I said with the current. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I know what I'm talking about. See, it went that we way. We all saw Mew drop the sign right. and watch the river carry it downstream. Right. And the river was wide there. The right. sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? Uh huh. And then and it ended on the other it side. It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But it did but not. That's not where we found it. Mm-hmm. It was right there. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Mm-hmm. What do y'all have to say? It should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She yes. probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. No, she didn't. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Nope. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Exactly. Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're <laughs> getting off topic. <laughs> We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. I know how in All my the mind. mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Mm -hmm. Connect how? A wall mm -hmm. only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. Mm -hmm. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? Of course I would. What? Yeah, yeah of course y'all say would me. would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. Mm -hmm. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. Oh my god. Yes, everybody's leaning on me so, this this how episode. Are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Yes. Ah. Well, what we know so far is that the mm -hmm. unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Yes. Okay. So, let's see. Uh the map of the world maybe. Maybe the map of the world. Okay. Oh, my bad. My bad, y'all. I know what I'm trying to say. It ha it's it's a wall, man. It's a wall. Okay, that one. This is it. That one. God, man. Come on, Jazz. It my might God. It have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. An object would pass through that and the get to the other side. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the ch But if that wall happened mm -hmm. to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through. Mm -hmm. I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. Exactly. That means uh -huh. the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Exactly. Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? Because it kept going. It kept going. It kept going and hit there. The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? It's a continuation. It's a continuation. That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on a mansion side? What would explain that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. Mm. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. I don't need it. I don't need the hint. What? <laughs> this is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense. Okay. Why? Huh? The hell does that even mean? Right. Kokichi might be onto something here. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river, how did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Okay. Downstream and upstream connect. That's right. it. There we go. That's what I've been saying this whole game. Okay. <laughs> what if both ends of the river were connected? Mm-hmm. Huh? Both ends of river connected? Mm-hmm. There you go. Exactly. To put it another way, 
The river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. Exactly. It just continues. It's all part of one big loop. Mm -hmm. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. See, like I said, like Pac-Man. You go from the right side, you end up on the left. Like, come on. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Yes, they Again, can. throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Yes. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Hmm. For a human. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. For humans. For humans. Wait, in that case... I got it. I know why Mew only set up one wall. Hmm. What are you talking about now? Hmm. The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion wall... They're the same wall. That's it! Exactly, it's only one. It's only one wall because they're connected. Yep. The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. Mm -hmm. They're the same wall. Exactly. The same wall? Mm -hmm. It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Exactly. Don't think of it as two separate walls. Well, one. But a single wall parallel to the y-axis. Mm -hmm. Think of your map differently, okay? Think of the map differently. It's like, it's like if you look at the world map, right? If you look at the world map, you don't just assume that because on one end it looks like it stops, that that's the only place that it stops at. Like, it keeps going. Like, come on now. Open up your mind. Open up your mind, okay? That single wall divides the entire virtual world. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's why I said I think the buildings are actually close to each other. That's why I said that. The I think that's why we heard everyone. You pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Everything is starting to connect. Mm -hmm. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Well, that's what I've been saying. Damn it, Kokichi. So. Just tell us. It's okay. <laughs> More importantly, this is the final stretch! Oh my god. If both the river and wall are connected, mm -hmm. then you can find the secret. Shuichi, mm -hmm. you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? Do I? Do I? Did I already say it? The secret, huh? Yes, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Okay. Oh my. Oh. Okay, I'll, I guess on that one. Oh, I see a lot of O's. Okay, whoa. World. World. Is that an L? Is that an L right there? There we go. World what? World. World. World what? World warp? World. Okay, not an M. World. Not a D. Okay, okay, Jazz, stop just guessing. Okay, world, world, la, world, la, 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 la. Okay, O is the only, only world, la, world loop, world loop, world loop, loops up plural. Okay, 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 plural. There we go. There we go. I was losing a lot of hearts. Guessing with the wrong uh, letters. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna be something more here, yes, okay? <laughs> that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Mm -hmm. Loop. Mm -hmm. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example, like Pac Man. When no? a character goes off the okay, left side of the mind. screen and reappears on the right. Never yes, mind. Exactly. <laughs> the edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. I thought they were gonna say that, but you know, okay. <laughs> the virtual world. Oops. Yes. What in the world? Mm -hmm. If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. Mm-hmm. We know this. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. Mm-hmm. The other way. Yep. Came from there, went to the other side. We know this. Why are we spending so much time on that? And we need to spend time on something else. Until it got else. caught on the rocks. Yes, what we know. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, hmm. there wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all. And the x-axis was set to loop. Mm -hmm. So it can be connected. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? No. Looping world. That's more exciting. 
ordinary than even magic. Oh my god. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Yep, how we heard Kibo, huh? you know? It doesn't explain everything, does it? So we you still what? don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Well, it doesn't explain the sound, but it does explain Kibo's voice because he was at the chapel, which is close to the mansion. It just doesn't seem that way because of how they drew the map, you know? Yeah, sound doesn't go past the map loading point. Hold Actually, on, y'all. Think outside know what the, the world box. Is a loop, we can explain that as well. Exactly. Huh? Really? Yes, we can. Yes. But first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Mm -hmm. Where the loop starts. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? Uh-huh. Don't y'all see Not the sidewalks connected too? If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... Mm -hmm. From inside the mansion, then the loop would be right there, right? Over there? No? Okay, wait, wait, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry. I thought they meant like it would connect there, but never mind. It might be this. It might be this, yo. There. Jeez, Jasmine, we are we know what I know the what I'm saying, yo. But I just don't know how to say it in the game. Oh my god. I don't know how to say it in the game. The loading point was in the middle of the map. Mm-hmm. Exactly. There you go. The loading point was actually at the edges. There we go. There so we go. That's the what I meant. Created wasn't at the edges of the world, but mm -hmm. rather close the wall together. Was at the center of the world. I see. Right. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a mm -hmm. wall between them. Yep. And like I said. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. Mm -hmm. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. Exactly. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. Thank you. All right. Finally got that. <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi. Okay. For you to get this far. Yes. Yes. You are useful indeed. For you to get okay. this far. Right. <laughs> what are you, some villain pulling the strings? I mean, he is also a villain, so hey. Nope. I mean. You pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mew also set this trap. Uh-huh, to get us all killed. It all mm -hmm. began when Mew showed us the map. Mm -hmm. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. Yeah. Which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. Which they weren't. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. Mm-hmm. We know this, y'all. Can we get to why Mew is dead? There Can we get to who did it? The y -axis, and the X axis Sheesh. came around in a loop. We are spending a lot of time on this. Of that world, she cut off the loop. So yes. ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Exactly. We know we would be dead if she wasn't dead. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. Hmm. All hail our savior! Mm -hmm. Yeah. If Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. You're welcome, y'all. But can uh, we like? You're welcome. Can we get back to Mew? Cause she's cause she's dead. You know, since we forgot. Just because huh. we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Mm-hmm. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Mm-hmm. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. That's how a class trial works, after all. That's what I'm saying. We spent a lot of time on the Monokuma river. Again. Jeez. No matter what you say, I'm not going to believe your lies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to believe in everyone. That's how I'm going to reach the truth. Okay, Kaiso, you can still be a culprit. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. Hmm. What is Kikichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. What we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve, if we can't find the culprit, it would all be for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Mew? See, that's what I want to know too. I feel like it could be the K's. I don't know why. All right, class trial resume. Let's get back into it, y'all. I'm gonna find out who killed Mew, okay? Uh, my head. What? Uh, pull yourself together. <laughs> He's breaking. Getting someone important to me, but uh, 
I just can't. Mommy? My head, Mommy? Maybe? My head hurts so much, I just can't remember. Hmm. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's for the best. Uh, from this uh, point uh, forward, uh, let's start a new life for ourselves. Y'all are siblings. Uh, uh, our baby is excited to meet his daddy. You know? Ew, ew. Y'all are siblings. Yeah. Daddy? Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. Colossal death flag. Mm-hmm. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. <laughs> More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left right. off. Right. Who murdered Mew? We okay. understand Mew plotted the murder. Right. But we need to find out who killed her. Like, I don't that's the only thing that kind of like annoyed me with this. Like, I got it. Like, I understood that she was trying to kill Kokichi, but like she's dead. So can we get to like getting her killer instead of figuring out who she was trying to kill like come on and in order to figure that out we need to understand Mew's actions mm -hmm. so let's discuss her murder scheme step by step okay i know that's important but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off well y'all just hate each other so let's see hey. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan mm -hmm. don't just ignore me and start anyway <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna listen seen, to you. She would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. Uh huh. And then, wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. Hmm. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world. And then pin it on and Kaito. Then pin it on Kaito. That's a smart As plan, for though. Okay. alibi in the real world. She could say she was locked into the virtual world. So she could have and done it. In the it. virtual world. She could say she was near the chapel the entire time. Exactly. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. We we know this, y'all. We we know. She I feel like we're going over purpose, this a million so she times. Could separate the chapel from the mansion. Yes. We know, y'all. We know. I promise you, then we got secretly it. Secretly passed through the wall she installed mm -hmm. and took advantage of the loop. Yes. After. She headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's mm -hmm. rooftop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. Yeah, he was already out. You. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. True. She was killed on the roof, right? Um, I don't know. Told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Hmm. Maybe that when culprit kill her. That's hmm. probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Hmm. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. Who knows? I don't think Mew did it. Hmm. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. True. She Even would if have. someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. Hmm. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Right. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. No, she she does. She, she smart. does think smart uh, oh, far ahead. <laughs> she was dumb she was just smart and vulgar that's it and then she played dumb sometimes <laughs> no say such mean things right go to defend bad. her not Mew. thank you go to bad person going to think we could have been friends if things different thank you going to for sticking up her would have been difficult even without this killing game hmm that wouldn't happen oh no -uh. No way, Jose. Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Anyway, let's continue uh, the discussion. Just all man. If Mew Come was on. killed on the roof of the mansion, mm -hmm. the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? Oh. So the next thing we should True. talk about is how they moved her avatar. Hmm. Now we know hmm. the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But Correct. The problem is the wall between them. Mm -hmm. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. So the culprit couldn't the culprit do that. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Mm -hmm. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the only way, right? Huh. But, but how did the culprit oh, well, send Mew's avatar through the wall? Maybe throwing her? Maybe they threw her, and that's what was the loud... Okay, I'm thinking that she was dead on the roof, right? And then whoever it was, since everybody has equal strength, threw her body across that wall because she could pass through it and then she hit the chapel and that's how her body laid there is that too crazy i don't know i think i think that's how it is i mean it's not like they could have thrown her they could go right? not throw her they could know. right you couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized oh i guess but i had physical a good theory strength 
equalizer? I had a good theory. I, I don't know. That problem. Hmm. Gonta no can protect everyone if that happens. Hmm. Jeez, keep up with us. <laughs> We're already in the second half of the class. Trial. And that's surprising coming from her, honestly. Hmm. How did they send Mew's hmm. avatar to the other side of the wall? Hmm. Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. That's why I think it's her body hitting the hitting the chapel, right? I don't know. I don't know. I would think that it would be thrown across. Because I don't of know. that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? Mm -hmm. That's when you found the dead Mew there. Right? Uh-huh. If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Of course they are. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what is it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. I really think it's her body. I don't know. So what were those two things? It could be the sound we heard like two objects colliding. Mew hitting the wall. I think it's that. That's it. Right. Like it can't be anything else. Like she's, it's I her body. I think the sound came from Mew's right? avatar hitting the chapel wall. Mm-hmm. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there. Oh, I've been saying Latisse. <laughs> this whole time. Oh my god, lattice. Oh my god. Those out. Like lettuce. Another explanation oh is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. Mm-hmm. Man. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. Yeah. That's yeah, it did. Impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Mm. Yeah, that's the real question. What? Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. Hmm. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? I have no idea. Hold She's on, thrown? Profici, I what's up with the way you're talking? Hmm. Why are you talking like you know everything? He might Let's know. Let's not worry about that right now. He might actually know and is waiting for the actual culprit to confess. So knowing Kokichi, yeah, that might be More him. importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Hmm. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Hmm. Us? <laughs> Y'all definitely anyway. not friends. Can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? Right. A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Hmm. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof, there's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, hmm. as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. Excuse me? What hint? You what? Right. Hint. What hint? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Right. Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. Okay. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. Mm-hmm. If the so. culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. Okay, so I feel like he's trying to feed me the answers right now, and I'm trying to think, like, <laughs> um, wait. Wait, did he did he slide it? Did he slide it? Kokichi is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion? I'm going to find out the answer. Did he slide it? Did he slide? Okay, slide is not the word. Slide. Wait a minute. Let me see that again. Okay, slum. Oh, slid, slid, slid. Okay, slid. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, uh. Slid over, oh no, not over. Uh, why is there a day, why is there a Matakuma one? Okay, slid off. Oh, slid off the roof, slid off the roof, slid off the roof. Okay, I need another O, I need another O. I was thinking slide, but okay, slid. Slid off the roof. There we go. They pushed her ass down. Damn. Who is the killer, yo? Who is the killer? The culprit used the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Mm-hmm. Slide? Yep. Aw, oh, man. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. Uh, it would slide. Right. If the avatars can generate friction, we wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. But... She's an object. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. But she's an object. No, no. 
It wouldn't slide. Right. It wouldn't slide. Just like Maki Roll said. It would slide because it's an object. It would slide. Just like Shumai said. Who the it's hell a... is Shumai? I, who, I don't know. Oh, I don't even know who that is. He's a pupil of Roman Man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Look, if that's a if that's a manga or an anime, y'all let me know. Give me hip, because I have no idea what that is, okay? <laughs> I'm positive that that's how Mew's avatar was moved, but maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. Huh. But would her body slide because it's registered as an object rather than a human? Even if her avatar slid off the head, Oh, the lattice! Hold on, hold on, hold quickly? on. I've been saying the teeth this whole time. I'm no, so excited to say would. lattice now. Okay, it okay. It that much noise. Uh-huh. It must have built up a lot of speed. It sure did. Lots like a snow snowboard. Up on roof. Mm hmm but Not frozen solid, right? Mm hmm You'd still slide though. Right, you could. Like in a the real snowboard. World, it might be difficult. Hmm. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. Hmm. That's not the issue. Okay. Sliding down snow is easy to do. Right. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. Uh-huh. There was nothing like that around. Oh, yes, there was. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Wrong. Yes, there was. The lattice. I'm so excited to say lattice now because I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Lattice. Lattice. No, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That right Do you there. Remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? And that came from the roof, so that would make sense. The culprit uh -huh. moved on top of that then used it as a sled on the roof. And that's what was missing from the storage room. Uh-huh. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. And then it wasn't there. But mm -hmm. during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. Yep, we already knew. We already knew. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is mm. the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Exactly. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. <laughs> the way that he says it makes us feel like we're all dumbasses. And he already knew this whole time. <laughs> After the culprit killed me oh, on wow. the rooftop and mm. slid her down the roof steep slope. Look at the avatar they used the for the killer, too. It looks so speed, evil. Flew off the roof, glided mm. through the wall only objects could pass through. Yep. Hit the chapel. Damn. Huh, so they knew about it then. They knew about her being an object then. Huh. So who knows about her being an object though, is the question. The impacts made all of her belongings mm -hmm. scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Mm -hmm. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog! I, I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and oh, I why? hate that hedgehog! You sound like you a hater. He has success, so you a hater, huh? He's successful, so you hate him? Shut up. Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again. Well, you shouldn't be so hateful. Right, for no yeah. reason. He don't even Daddy know you. An example to our new family. Sonic don't even know your bare ass. Yeah, what are you father. talking about? Or should I start calling you grandfather now? You have no children, Monotaro. You have no children. Now that we know how the body slid down, uh -huh. we're just one step away from the culprit. Hmm. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, the culprit. Yeah, yeah I don't In know. The end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? The only people that I'm suspicious of, okay, I was suspicious of Kaito, but he was out. So there's no way that he could have done it. Now, I'm thinking either Kokichi himself, Keyboy, I keep saying Keyboy, Kibo, because we heard his uh, he, we heard his voice, and Golta because he was outside with the mansion. I don't know. I don't know. But Golta can't believe one of us killed Mew. Hmm. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Right. Meaning the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside hmm. from Mew, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. Exactly. So that means. The suspects mm. are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. And That's you. real sneaky, leaving yourself right. off the list. I like, and you, Kokichi. <laughs> oh, you got me. Hmm. 
That's right, five suspects. Me, Sumigi, Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. Hmm. So, Kaito? Kaito, did you lie about something on the roof? What's it? What are you talking about? Okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. All right, so I'm thinking Kokichi then. It's you. Okay, so Kokichi, right? Yes. Kokichi, don't tell me that his bitch ass did. There's something I need to know. Don't tell me hmm. his bitch ass did. What do you need to know? Hmm. Why did you lie just now? Hmm? Which lie are you talking about? He said Shinji? which one? I do it a lot. So you'll need to jog my memory. Oh my god. Fine. Son of. I'll a... expose your lie right now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Shuichi. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. Hmm. It all began when Mew showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Oh, how would he know? How would he know that the roof is locked if he never went there? You lying bitch. It okay. was that testimony that bothered me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How would you know if you never went there, you lying scumbag. Okay, let's uh, let's get these. Hold on. Oh, what's that say? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all know, y'all know I don't do well with this. Y'all know I do not do well with this changing colors thing. Okay. God. All right. Let's go get. Also, never went to the rule. I don't know what that says. Okay, hold on. Let me just get all of them. Let me just try to get all of them and see what they all say. Let me just go ahead and start clicking stuff. Let me go start clicking stuff so that that way we can see. Okay, what does it say? What does that say? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There we, hold up. There we go. Okay. That says, ah. Uh, okay, all began when Mew showed us the map. No, on the locked roof. Yeah, 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 that. Okay, shoot. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to take some, take some seconds off. Okay, what does that say? That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. The, oh, no? How? What is the question? What did Kokichi lie about? Um, okay, that he wasn't there for the meeting. My bad, I didn't even read the question. I didn't even read the question. That's my fault. That's my fault. Oh! Okay, there we go. That, that right there. That right there. That he didn't go to the roof. Because how would you know that the door is locked if you never went? Huh? How would you know? When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked. Hmm. Said I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. Uh-huh. But later, you s He said that it was locked. Since the mansion was on top of the hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was pretty at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faces the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. Uh-huh. That's a mm -hmm. lot of specific information. For you to never Stuff be up you there. you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? Uh-huh. Start speaking up. You could probably up. see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. Yep. But you wouldn't yep. know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Or it'd be... Oh, well, he could know about it being locked if... If he was on the other side of the stairwell. I just realized it. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. Oh, are you caught? Huh? Oh? What? Uh-huh. What's this all about, Kokichi? Oh, Did don't tell me. Did you actually go to the rooftop? Yo, let me know if this is the episode we finally get to kill Kokichi. Let me know. Let me know. I, I, I didn't. I already told you that before. I wonder if he's actually scared or he's lying. I don't Why know. Why do you look so nervous? Hmm. Is this a sincere reaction? Right, we don't know. But there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. Huh. Oh, wait. I remember now. Oh? That thing Himiko said. Which is what? Me? Which is what? At the start of the class trial. I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. Oh, please. Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Don't use her as a scapegoat. Don't do that. Is it my fault? No, it's not, Himiko. No, it's not. You're good, baby. You say that? You're okay, she baby. She totally said that. Hmm. No, she didn't. Thank you, Kaito. She did. Oh? She did not. Oh. She did too. Okay, we're not doing this back then and forth, y'all. Tell not me doing how long this. ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. Hey. <laughs> what a worthless fight. I mean, we gotta get somewhere. I don't I don't know. All this terrible fighting is bad for the baby. 
What baby do you have? Grandfather, stop them before your grandkid is born. Come on now. It, right, I'm just ignore them. Because Himiko said it. No, she did not. So damn stubborn. Hmm. How much longer are you going to behave like this? Right, Maki. Like, we're these are children right now, okay? Well, technically, y'all are still not adults, but still. We don't have time for this. But Kokichi is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. All right, let's go, Sherlock Shuichi. Let's go get his ass. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the moment to get his ass out of here. So, let's see. Hmm. I didn't go to the roof. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had enough of your lies, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. Are you sure? The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. Huh. So what did Kokichi do? Hmm. I turned back at once, of course. Oh, did you? And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Hmm. Liars burn in hell, you know? Mm -hmm. If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! <laughs> That's fine, because I'm not lying. Oh, are you? Then why do you look so nervous? Right. Hmm. Let's see, Kokichi's lying for sure, but if he keeps throwing lies at me, I have to fight fire with fire. Oh, I wait a minute, okay. Roof. So let's go ahead and change that had a nerve for your to... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, okay. Let's go get that and let's hold this, right? And let's shoot at that. There we go, Why? There we go. Let's say that he wasn't at the salon. Kokichi. You're lying right now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Huh? Lying about what? Oh, you know. Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. Ooh. But you weren't there. Ooh! What? Really? Uh-huh. Good lie. Good lie, shut up. You never showed up. Uh-huh. What's this all about, Kokichi? Ooh. Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? Apparently not. Uh-oh. Oh? You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? Oh, you don't like what I do to you, do you? Huh, bitch? All right, come on. So who are you guys going to believe? Shuichi or me? Is this a split decision time? Well, of course I'm going to believe Shuichi. Mm -hmm. I believe Shuichi 100%. Because they don't like me. The one who's not Kokichi. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. 100 house points. Miko <laughs> <laughs> points. Is this... Shuichi. <laughs> Is this Harry Potter? <laughs> but to go to the salon... Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. So, Mickey, just go with it, girl. Just go mm -hmm. with it. I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Just go with it, Sumiki. So, you're messing it up. You're messing it up. Oh, you're messing up the lie. I believe okay. Shuichi anyway. There we go. He's usually right about stuff. There we go. There we go. Good to be a sorry, team player. Good. Good. I'm going to believe Shuichi too. Of course you would. I'm sorry for suspecting you a little I bit. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. Man. Like you? What comes around goes around. Mm -hmm. That's what happens to liars like you. Let's get it. Why do you guys hate lies that much? Because they There's suck. There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies. You know? Oh my God! Here and he goes on his Some of them are tangent. only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. Hmm. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, hmm. then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst. We might. Just spit we it might out be. already. You went to we the roof, be. didn't you? Right. Isn't that where he met up with Mew? Mm-hmm. No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably killed. Okay, oh. fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Mm-hmm. Consider this my revenge. What? Revenge? For what? You got some balls lying to me. Oh. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. Oh, really? What you I gonna do? I won't let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. Oh, for how? Oh. How? How you gonna do that? So, I'll confess everything. Hmm. You guys better listen carefully. Hmm. Confess? A confession? Confess to what? So you are the culprit after all. Mm-hmm. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. Man, I can't she believe that this mother... Too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. Hmm. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. And that's how you knew that she was an object, so you can go ahead and pass her ass through that wall, right, and kill her ass. Uh -huh. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. To murder you. Uh, me, no less. Uh-huh. When I investigated the virtual world, 
I found out that a person can die from shock. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. And then frame it so on that's Kaiser. When I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. Hmm. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's hmm. also why I work together with Monokuma. Bitch, that's cheating. Hold you up. Hold work together up. with Monokuma? How? I guess the jig is up. Yeah. Everything he said is true. Man, y'all cheating. Oh my gosh. How you gonna work with the enemy? How you gonna work with the enemy? He came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. Man. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. <coughs> the secret of the outside world? Is that it? You added a motive? Hmm. Then the secret of the outside yep. world is the motive, That they right? kept saying the whole time. No fair. Mm. Monokuma can't take sides. Right, that's like I cheating. I help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself. Man. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted. You and y'all loopholes. You and y'all loopholes. I had a quid pro quo relationship. Mm. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. I hate both of y'all. I do. No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Right, you were. <laughs> I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. Oh I'm my fine god. With that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you, I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. Oh, by confessing it all yourself, so that, that way we don't have anything to figure out. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. I mean, that's my revenge. But see, the thing is, nobody's having fun here. Bukuhichi. So you're making it boring for yourself. Nobody wants to even participate in this. They want it to end quickly. So you have, you're probably helping us, actually. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. What? What? Huh? What? W what did you? How? Wait. When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie. How? He didn't kill her. Bukuhichi's just lying. Hold up. Hold up. Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? Yo, don't have this game making me turn my questioning around because I did suspect Gonta because he was outside. But that was like the only reason. Don't tell me that he's the killer because of that only reason. Do not tell me that. Do you really Do expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Hmm. Yeah, there's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now. Oh? Oh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't make me question Gonta, yo. Don't make me question him. No. The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We um. formed a duo to end this killing game. Wait, hold on, because y'all did go together at some point when y'all disappeared from us. Y'all did go together, so I don't know. He might be telling the truth. I don't know, I don't know. As the killing game busters! What oh. busters? Oh, uh -huh. Gonta's must like, win what? this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? Oh, he's like, I'm not part of this. By the way, this. I came up with a murder plan and going to carry it out. Oh? Gonta, what? what? I'm more surprised by that than the first thing he said. Oh, uh, wait. I'm like, huh? Because we're going to have no idea what he's talking about. Come on. Oh, really? Quit lying and tell us the truth. What is Gonta going is on? Telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. Oh, don't don't and make no me have my image of Gonta, Gonta change. Be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. He might though, because Kokichi be saying a lot of stuff and Gonta just go with it, so I don't know. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. Okay, yeah, he doesn't trust him after that, okay. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Hmm. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. Hmm. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime. Maybe. <laughs> We knew that. We knew that. Like that. We know he's best. You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. Hmm. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth. Huh? Cut that out. I told you it's not gonna work. Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? Yes, you could. So I'm second guessing myself. So I, I really don't know with this trial. I really don't know. It doesn't matter if it's possible or not. Because I say it's just impossible. Hmm. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. Hmm. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? Uh, what? Uh, don't turn this to me. Going to not understand what's going on. But still, mm -hmm. going to not kill me. Going to 
really not know anything. I'm sorry, Gonta. And also, Gonta not tell lies. Hmm. And Gonta not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That's right. That why Gonta not culprit. That's right, Gonta. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. Hmm. I already used my magic to check. Girl, stop. Gonta's definitely not lying. Let's get over this magic stuff, then please. Then let me ask you guys. Hmm. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You. You, of course. Right, you. I mean, like, who else? <laughs> Come on. There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. Which is I'm what? Sorry? You better. Mm -hmm. Right. You better oh, speak up. Did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Okay. Why I can't be the culprit. Okay. What? Okay. We see the creepy face, but we ain't seeing no evidence. I'm gonna need you to pull that evidence out, okay? Not the face. Don't bring the face out. Bring the evidence out, okay? So what's the evidence? Hmm. I am not the hmm. culprit. But didn't I prove that to you guys already? Uh -huh. The clue is how Mew is killed. Okay, strangulation? Got strangled to death, right? Right. Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Uh-huh. You would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Hmm. Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me. Hmm. You're talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? Right. That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. Hmm. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Right. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. Hmm. So you could have kept strangling her. No problem. Hmm. See, I told you I'm not the culprit. I don't know. That conclusion. Okay. All right. All right. So it's already been proven that if it's already been proven that she is innocent, we should have evidence of that. Before we can say one way or the other, we have to clear something up. Let's fast forward. Let's see. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Uh huh. Not that. This is a lot. This is a long one here too. <laughs> so let's keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Not that. Not that part. But the other part that she said. Hold up. Not that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's get that and then hit that part. Right. There we go. <coughs> I figured it was that. I figured it was that because we said all the other Actually, options, so. Maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Hmm. Why wasn't it possible? Mew hmm. modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. Oh, true. True, because if she touched you, then you couldn't move. I, I remember, if Mew I remember me, that. Then I'd be unable to move. Damn, huh? so you might not actually be the killer. You might not actually be the so killer. So I would have had was, to kill her could... instantly. Yeah. Such as stabbing or hitting. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation because uh -huh. it'd be game over if she touched me. That's true. That's true. You know what? Damn. Damn it. Damn, we couldn't get Kokichi. God, man. And I know there's gonna be Kokichi stands in the comments. Oh my God. Why she's talking about Kokichi this way? Because. He lies too much, okay? That's why. Sheesh. Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. Mm -hmm. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, hmm. then it would be impossible. Right. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Man, I thought we was actually able to get his ass. Wait. Oh my god. What if it was something besides strangulation then? Hmm. Like, There's like no what? doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. Cause he don't like your ass. No That's matter why. how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. Mm. The culprit who killed you is Gonta Gokuhara. Huh. This is the truth you all adore so much. Uh, please don't no, tell me that's true. Gonta not kill Mew. Please don't tell me that's true. It's true. You gotta believe Gonta. Gonta would never hurt anyone. I, I, I believe, believe you, but I don't know. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonto would kill. He won't even kill bugs. Right, because he I loves bugs. believe Gonto too. Huh. I'm not going to listen to Kokichi's lies. Uh, of course. Who would believe a liar like him? I don't know. That's He's why I'm like, I don't Gonta know. Being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. But see, the thing is, Kokichi, you don't know when he's lying or when he's telling the truth. So it's like you're just stuck in limbo a lot of the time. So I don't know. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? 
You think so too, don't you? I, I don't know. I'm in the middle. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a detective. I gotta look at all angles. I, know I don't how know important here. important it is to believe. But as the ultimate detective, mm -hmm. I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Exactly. We need huh? evidence. We need evidence. It's just I'm that sorry. Something doesn't add up. Hmm. I have this feeling that something's off. I've been feeling that way since the investigation. I've been feeling like I wasn't able to pinpoint who the killer was until I got to this trial. Like, I don't know. We can't keep I don't have all the info. Like this. We need to discuss this. Mm -hmm. What, you want to suspect Gonta? I don't want to. I might have to. Too bad, to. Kaito. Right. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. Mm. No, I'm not trying to. Right, it's not oh, you that I'm agreeing with. Oh my it's god. It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. Mm. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Look, you have to be. You have to be suspicious of every possibility and person that could be the killer. Like, well, you have to. Can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. Mm -hmm. That's not it, Kokichi. That's true, though. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survives. Shuichi. Oh. Oh! Going to really not do it. I'm so sorry. Go to not culprit. Don't make me feel bad, Gonta. Don't make Please me do it. Leave Gonta. I'm so sorry. I, I know. We might I... as well discuss it. Right. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. Mm -hmm. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. Look, Evan, if you're not guilty, then we are all apologizing to you, okay? I'm Only so sorry. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. See, the, see Kibo you guys. knows. Why Kibo don't you knows. get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. I know, she's but just like trying to split us up. I she might be. Open your eyes. Don't get mad at me. I need to look at all angles. But, I need to look at all angles. Truth special. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sorry now to ruin this decision. tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. Yes, we know. So the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground. Yes, yes, we know, we know, yes. So we're gonna do that again? Yes, we are, Maki. Shuichi, yep. why? Why don't you understand? You don't understand, Kaito. Like, we need to look at all You're angles. You're sidekick, aren't you? You, Kaito. you designated me. I didn't sign up, so. Of course I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. But as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. I need to find the truth. I mean, either we find the truth or we die. Which one do I want to do, y'all? We, we can spare a few minutes to explore the possibilities of Gonta maybe being the killer to make sure that we don't die, okay? Jeez. Everybody's taking it so personally. Oh, man. And then Gonta make me feel bad when he was doing the whole waterworks. Like, everybody's just making me feel like such an enemy right now. <laughs> Could Gonta have committed the crime? It's impossible. It is possible. Now, let's go. Shuichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Ah, uh, I got this. There we go. I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gonta there we go. Such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Huh. Oh, sweetheart. There we go. Don't there you there we realize go. these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? They sure can. They sure Would can. Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo. <laughs> The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. Uh-huh. There uh -huh. should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I got this. Mm -mm. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. Exactly, none of us were there. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monaco. Kibo. That is impossible because hmm. Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not it, that's not Kokichi it, okay. Kokichi is the one who killed Kibo. Okay, that's that the one. That is impossible, because that's Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Okay, so I missed one, I missed not one. Kill Mew. Honest. I know, I, I know. This. I, the truth I, is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Uh-huh, okay, I missed one, I missed but one. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Okay, we got it, we got it. We, when, we aren't, when we aren't consistent, our position looks weak, we have to work together, okay? We have to face the truth, even if we don't want to. We have to defend that point. Shuichi, okay, gotcha, are you gotcha. saying that Gota is the culprit? Okay, I okay, there we go. Culprit, I can't say there we sure go. He's the culprit. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we Uh-huh, got gotcha. the culprit. Okay, sweetheart, bam. Let's go ahead and skip that. There we go. Okay, rooftop, uh-huh. Got that, there we go. Uh-huh. should have been witnesses uh -huh. at the, the entrance hall. And no. then Monokuma. 
Uh huh. But Kokichi confirmed Kokichi. Yeah. Did cooperate there we go. with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. Mm hmm. Okay, there we go. All alive. And then Kokichi. That is impossible. There we go. Because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Uh huh. And this. then Mew. The there we go. Is, now we got could it. Have murdered <laughs> Mew. I always mess up on these. All the time. Okay, ooh, let's go. Ooh. ooh. There we go. Alright, full counselor. <laughs> I just have to say it like that. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. Exactly. That's ridiculous. You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? No, never. It's just that that's a possibility. That's, that's it. That's not it at all. I just want the truth. Right, has nothing to do with Kokichi. If we're going to survive. I have to find the truth. Mm-hmm. There you go, Sherlock. What? Gonta telling truth. Mm -hmm. Gonta really not culprit. Oh. I still don't think Gonta's lying. I'm but not didn't saying I that. Tell you guys I... already? Oh my god. If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Mm. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar. Hiding beneath a layer of deceit. Oh my god. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this. Gonta, uh. if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. Oh logical man. Arguments? Oh Please my god. Use your head to make arguments. Hmm. Use head. Not what not I'm head trying butt. to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't. Right. What were you doing it's outside? Gonta really not know. Hmm. Uh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know. Mm. God, why are you so dumb? Okay, you don't gotta be so mean to Gonta. Okay, relax. All right, God. Gonta just wanna help everyone. Mm -hmm. Like true gentlemen. I'm sorry, baby. You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. Oh. Hey, now that's just bullying. Right, you don't gotta go that far, mm -hmm. geez. Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? No, you kill, actually. You guys blame actually. and gang up on me. But now you're gonna pretend to be good people? Mm. No, I, I never ganged up. Uh, well, Don't we technically did. Argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's Ooh. enough! Ooh! Hmm? Uh oh. Stop what? You mean stop the game? Stop cornering hey. him. Do you even know what you're saying? Ooh. Yeah, I know. What about it? Mm. I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, Kaito. A blow right there. Why? And just die in a hole for all I care. Oh. We want to live, so stop getting in our way. Oh, I kind of I kind of feel that statement a little bit. I kind of feel a little bit. Like, if y'all in the way of me living and getting out of here, I, I might be mad too, so I don't know. Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Maki, don't turn into an assassin here, okay? Don't Maki, do it. please, calm down. Right, don't do it. Oh. Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. Mm. But Gonta telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. Okay. But Gonta not know anything. Really. Oh, I Gonta. Get out already. That's all you've been saying this whole time. Damn, everybody's just yelling. Uh, you didn't tell. Cut it out. Jeez. Wait, what did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time, that's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying that he doesn't know anything. Mm-hmm. Gonta not understand either. Mew like this when Gonta wake up. Uh-huh. He don't know nothing. Gonta was sleeping too, had strange dreams. Gonta not understand anything. Uh-huh. Then it says, Gonta not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. But why this happened? Why Mew killed? Go to not understand. Go to not understand anything. He hasn't provided anything about what he was doing at all. Cause go to have no idea what he's talking about, huh? But when exactly did he start using that? Oh wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Was his cord switched? Was his cord switched like his memory and his consciousness switched? And that's why he doesn't know anything. He may have done it, right? He may have done it. But his cords might have been switched to make it seem like he really doesn't know that he did it. Oh, hold up, hold up. Gonta started saying, I don't know, after logging out. That's it. Right, after he logged out. Somebody switched his cords. That's it, it was after he logged out. That means. Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Right. Accident? Hmm. 
the accident that hurt Gonta. That was yeah. the accident that hurt Gonta. Uh. The avatar error, right? This is it. Oh, so he might have really did. So oh no! The virtual world. An avatar user error occurred. Don't tell me that Gonta is actually the killer. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you were all logged in for the first time. An error. The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details, but something strange definitely happened as soon as the avatar by you were all logged in. And that was Gonta. An avatar and that's why error? he doesn't remember. Ever since oh Gonta my logged god. out. He's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. Exactly. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? No, That's he doesn't what I remember it. First. But I think it's huh. because of the error. Right. What you mean? Oh man, Gonta, you actually did the crime. If that error is what's affecting Gonta and it's making him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could it have been? It could have been the wires, man. The wires, right? Hold up. Hold up. Memory loss? Is that memory loss? Hold up. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Memory. Memory. Hold up. Hold up. Memo. Yep, memory loss. It gotta be memory loss. Okay. Memory loss. That's it. There we go. I need an L. Yup, there you go. There you go. Let me get that. I saw that was an O. Uh-huh. And give me two S's. Give me two S's. All right. There we go. Memory loss, right there, right there. Oh my God, we're gonna lose Gonta. We're gonna lose Gonta. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I thought we were getting Kokichi. I it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Oh my God. What? He doesn't remember. No. You started saying, I don't know anything after leaving the virtual world. Mm -hmm. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh my God. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even Ooh. killing Mew. Ooh. What? That's oh, ridiculous. Man. We're screwing around. It's very possible. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's very possible. What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused. Y'all forget what Mew said. Told us he was bad with computers. Remember? Y'all forgot memory what Mew said. Or no memory. Gonta never hurt anyone. Oh my God. No That's way, Gonta's Gonta the culprit. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh my God. Here we go. Look, I don't want Gonta to be the culprit either, but it's looking like he is. So I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. The device instructions. There we anyone. go. There we go. Hold up. It's that. Okay. Don't thing about the virtual world. Uh huh. But you don't. Would never kill a friend. Okay. Yeah. We get it. We get it. We get it. Uh huh. That's so. Gonta, it's just gentlemen protect friends. I know, baby. I know. Huh. Okay. Flying. Okay, I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, swear. There's only oh, one whoa. Go I, I'm sorry, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it sounds crazy. It's no wonder it's hard to believe. But this is the truth. So okay, you're hold me up, hold up, hold up. I think it's what the device instructions was. Okay, hold up, hold up. Not that. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That right there. That right there. That, that right there. There we go. Had to get it before Gonta yelled at me again. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, oh. The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar mm -hmm. is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Yep, they were switched. They were switched for him. Uh-huh, put the red consciousness in the right cord and the blue memory in the, court in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. Probably gets all glitchy or something. And that's what happened to his I memory. I think they're going to mess up something with the cords. Causing the error. Oh man. If he makes the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. Exactly. Like an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world. Mm -hmm. What? Yep, he's Don't right. You, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Maybe. He may have messed up. How Gonta supposed to remember that? I know you wouldn't. I know. He couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Girl. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Okay, that's according to you, Himiko. Okay, what if Gonta don't use it? Oh, huh? but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. Right, the left hand, exactly. That's your left hand! Exactly. Not everybody's right handed. Not everybody's right handed, Himiko. <laughs> <laughs> Looks mm, like mm, it's mm. decided. Oh my god. What's decided. 
I can't believe we decided off of chopsticks, yo. I can't believe that we decided off of what hand you hold your chopsticks in. Oh my god. He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? No. Gonta not remember. Uh-uh. Gonta not even go to this virtual world See? place. See, he been saying that the what? whole time. He been saying that Gonta the whole time. Gonta fall asleep when he put helmet on. Mm. When Gonta wake up, you dead. Mm. Gonta not know what happened. Wow. So, Gonta worry. Gonta not understand what everyone talking about. I'm so sorry, Gonta. You gonna die no. in this episode. Oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god. Just Gonta try his best to understand. Gonta imagine real hard. That's mm. enough, Gonta. We already know. Oh my god. What? That you're the killer. We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Oh my god. Uh, not lie. Gonta not kill Mew. Oh my god, Kokichi, if you set him up. Do that? Kokichi, if you set him up, I Oh man. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a lie. I'll never accept this. Mm. And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew. He does not. I already but gave you my does. testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. Uh -huh. And I'm saying I don't believe you. Gonta could have followed Kokichi. him. Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? Because she was going to kill him? You I don't know. You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? So that he wouldn't die? Was the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? I guess not, because his hands didn't technically kill the person, so no. Nope. Only the person uh -huh. who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened. Loophole once again. Loophole then there's once no again. incentive to just plan the murder. Hmm. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Because he just agrees to whatever anyone yet. says. Oh my god. Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already. My do goodness. I care about the motive? Right, we do. Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Oh, Talking about the motive god. is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, oh, man. I'll never believe your lies. Look, Gonta's a killer, we man. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Oh my god. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Oh. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Stop volunteering me. Stop volunteering me to be partners with y'all, okay? I'm tired of it. if face the truth, then we'll all die. Right? Mm, oh my god. And you don't want that, do you? No, I don't, but still. Okay, let's oh, begin. Man. Oh my god. Quit screwing okay. around. I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit. Mm. Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. See, even Kibo doesn't like Kokichi's ass, but he's willing to listen so that that way no, not everybody has to die. So Kaito just needs to listen for a second. <sighs> just a second. Just a second, so, okay? So, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Hmm. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. Oh my god. Oh god. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because... Huh. They... Couldn't access the crime scene, right? Right, exactly. That's it. That's it. Okay. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? No, they could the not. The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and mm -hmm. only Mew could pass through the wall. Mm -hmm. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so mm -hmm. they couldn't have done it. Okay. Kaito God. was the next one off our suspect list, and huh. you know why, right? Uh, because he wasn't there. Um, he was logged out. That's why. He was logged out, so it couldn't be him. Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. Yep, so but it's she not did him. that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Yes. Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, uh huh, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Damn, you know what? Kokichi making a lot of sense in this trial, and they can't even hate on that. Like he is, he's making a lot of sense. Oh, Mew's man. time of death was around six thirty. Six thirty. That's after Kaito logged out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. man. Kokichi's completely running the show now. You gotta admit it, and he's being correct. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Oh, man. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. Hmm. But what's the reason for that? Because we didn't go to... We had saw the alibi. Well, we saw Mew. Or we have solid alibis? I don't know. Yes, that. Okay, there we go. I'm like, we kind of did see Mew. Samugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Window, right. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit sure was did. definitely on the roof during that time. 
since mm -hmm. they slid Mew down. And Gonsu because was outside. That, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. Mm hmm. Oh, that man. leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Oh. Then you're the culprit! No. Sorry for getting your hopes up, but mm -mm. didn't I already explain that's impossible? Mew can't touch him. Well, if she did, then he wouldn't be able to move. Okay. Uh, he couldn't have killed. He couldn't have killed. Well, Kokichi was Mew's target, basically. Oh, what? what? Oh, shit. Okay. God, 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 God. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, y'all. Look. It's it's a lot of things. That's a trick question. That's a trick question. He couldn't have killed Mew because, you know. He couldn't touch her because he'll if just Mew be... touched him, yeah. he'd freeze in place. Exactly. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. Mm -hmm. So then, it's down to one person. Like he said. And who was that again? Like he said, process of elimination got going to test. God. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, baby. Well, who is it? Oh, don't man. Don't answer, Shuichi. You don't need to answer that. Yeah, I'm going to have to vote this for this. This is all Kokichi's trap. I, look. Look, man, there's only one suspect left. Only one person who could have done this. Oh, I don't want to vote for you, big guy. I don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Gonta. It's... It's... Gonta. Mm. Shuichi? It's him. I'm yep. sorry. I'm Gonta sorry. Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. Mm. You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. Man, The yo. thing you guys wanted so badly, a truth without any lies. Now, the thing we all wanted so badly was for you to be the actual killer so we can kill your ass, but no. Oh. You Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara. That is crazy, yo. That's so crazy. Really? Did Gonta really do it? I'm sorry, baby. You, oh. Is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. He's not the type. But you forgot everything, so oh well. Mm. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If mm. Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Okay, we don't gotta call him names, jeez. Oh my god. Hold on, I, I still haven't accepted this. This has gotta be Kokichi's trap. Uh, I, I mean... still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. I know, but influenced Kaito. by Kokichi, he might. I don't know. I already said this a million times, Kaito. Mm. You shouldn't use emotions. You to want proof? I've got your proof. Oh? <laughs> oh? After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. Okay. And who did they see out there? Who did they see? They saw Galta. Right? Okay. Okay, we saw Galta outside. Right? Kokichi said it himself. When uh -huh. Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel walls, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If mm. Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. Mm. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. No. You have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. But the thing is, that toilet paper, that toilet paper, since he used it to kill, he could use that to go down the wall, right? Because... It wouldn't break. And it was on the same side that Gonsu was on. So, I don't know. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Mm. And maybe he jumped off the roof. That's not mm -mm. possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Mm -mm. Normally, Gonta could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. Mm -hmm. How about that? Now you get it, right? But see, the toilet paper. If Gonta though. was the culprit. There's no way he could have been outside the mansion. The toilet paper is yeah, damning yeah, evidence. I don't know. Congrats, Gonta. No, uh, 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 uh. Really? No, can't do that. Nah. It would have been so nice if that were the truth. Right. If Kaito were right and this horrible trial would just end. But. No, that's wrong. Right. The toilet paper is right there. No. Just because Gonta was at the mansion doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. Exactly. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Yep. Huh? Yep. <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got mm. it. I'll leave the rest to him. Oh man. Man, Kaito, this is so depressing. I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. We all don't want to get him. We have to face the truth. It's like we have to sacrifice lovable Gonta for everybody not liking us Kokichi. Nobody likes Kokichi and he gets to live, but everybody likes Gonta and he gets to die. Like, that's crazy. No matter how cool that truth may be, mm. we need to face it to survive.
Man. Oh. On, Shuichi? The truth! I'm trying to live! Kaito, are you? Kaito, please. Right! Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? First of all, you placed me as your sidekick, Kaito, okay? I didn't sign up for this shit, all right? Now, I'm trying to live, Kaito, are you? You weren't even at the whole virtual world, so you have no idea what was going on, okay? So, let's just let the detective figure it out, okay? God. I still like you, Kaito, but come on. Kaito. Right. Fine, then. I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I can't doubt my detective work now. If I want us to all survive, I can't back down. All right, here we go. Hey, oh, Kaito, what the hell? He got an you alien on his lap? Woo! Did you know Gota at all? Okay, bam, 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 bam. There we go. Kill someone. Bam, 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 Don't bam, you know bam. That about him by now? I do. I do, but look, we got us the ass. evidence. Why oh. won't you believe Gota? Because I Why know the facts. To Kokichi? Because he made a Ooh, solid a point. Up. Uh. Wake up, okay. Ooh, woo. Why won't you believe Gota? Because the evidence Why ain't looking good for him. To Kokichi? Because he made solid sense! Sidekick? God! Oh, oh my god! Oh shit! Oh my god! I keep missing the whole one! Because it doesn't seem right! Good lord! Oh! Yes, I am, but look! What? Who do you want to believe? Oh my god! Woo! Uh, I know, I know the bitch! Yes, it's sweetheart, I know! I don't, but I have to! Who do you want to believe? No, don't come at me like this! I don't remember what Kichi has done to us! I know, I know, I know, I know! Remember okay. how Gota's always tried to protect us! I know, I know, I know, I know! Gota be the culprit! Look! Still wanna accuse him, huh? Look, stop attacking me like this! Sheesh! Good gracious, There's no Kaito! Way to leave the mansion from the Discover rooftop. toilet paper outside the mansion! Right! Who do you right? Want what? To oh my god! I gotta do this again? Remember oh my what god! Kichi has done to us! Was that not it? Was that not it? There's no way to leave the mansion. Toilet the paper top. discovered outside of the mansion. It ends here. Okay, I just had to put toilet paper as the first word. Yeah. I know what I was trying to say. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaito. You look kind of hot there, but I'm sorry. <laughs> toilet paper we found outside the mansion. Right, it was on the That's same side the as Gonta. Used to get from the roof to the ground. Exactly. The toilet paper? It can't break. The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Because it was right Not there. The scene of the right. Crime, nor on Mew's body. Mm -hmm. It was outside the mansion. Where Gonta was. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, uh -huh. then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. Yes, it was. I know because I investigated the roof. Yes, it was. You're stubborn, Kaito. Right. You're still going on about this. There surely of was course something I am. there. I'm going to believe in Gonta till the very end. Um, no, there was something that the mm -hmm. toilet paper could have been tied to. The little binocular thing. What? We know. We know what it is. Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down was right there. Right there. There. There we go. I know that one. Usually these picture ones can be messed up, but I know the that. The binoculars on the rooftop. Yep. The toilet paper could have been tied there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he knows it. He knows. Come on. However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. Mm-hmm. And then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. Uh-huh. Man, Gonsa, but man! In that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Mm. Mm. Gonsa, yep. man! That's correct, because I came up with that idea. Of course you did. Of course you did. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Well, I think that he was trying to oh, go. I guess he ran into someone on the way yep. and then threw it somewhere close by. Us. He ran into us. Uh-huh. He couldn't have gone in there. Yep. And he was just like, oh! <laughs> and then threw it up there. Wow, man. Gonta! Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> 
looks like Kaito's morale is shot, so this mm. whole thing is done now. I'm so sorry, the Gonta Man. Does appear to be settled. Huh. It, it, I know, I know. So, the truth. Gonta really killed Mew. And I love Mew so much that I was calling whoever was the killer or the culprit that killed her was a bitch and all these other names. And it's Gonta. It's sweet, sweet Gonta. My God, my God. But I'm the one who came up with the plan. Mm. Anyway, just to make your crime, Gonta. Man, oh man. you don't remember, you still did it. Mm, mm. But you bitch. Why did Gonta do such terrible things? Mm. Wait, before you start crying, you got to admit your crime for... Oh. Stop. Why? I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is going to get him to confess... It's me. It's me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's put the Gota, pieces together. I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? Mm. When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Oh. Let's end this together. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gonsa. You gotta... Oh, man. Oh. oh, I don't even wanna do this one. Oh, my God. Oh, whatever. Okay. What color cord did the culprit stick in the right port? They probably put in... Oh, jeez. Okay, uh... Matisse used a sled, the cell phone. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's go. And they said, what did you do when the others left for the mansion? Uh, no, not that. Hold up. Who was investigating the dining hall? Okay, not. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Who's investigating the mansion? Who's investigating the kitchen? Who's investigating the roof? Wait a minute. Okay, map of the virtual. Wait a minute. What object? Okay, that's the cell phone. Okay, there we go. So let's use the cell phone. Okay, cell phone for that. What was the weapon Mew brought in to kill Kikiji? It was a hammer who was logged out against their will, which was Kaito. There we go. Kaito was logged out. Okay. And then what did the culprit use to strangle Mew, which was toilet paper? But I don't see that. Okay, to move the body out the roof, what was taken off from the storage room, which was the lattice. There we go. I like the same with T. So T sounds better. I don't know. Okay. That one says, how does this cul culprit escape the roof? Okay, that's a bottle of poison. Okay. Um, toilet paper doesn't tear. Toilet paper that doesn't tear. Uh, is that it? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. So, what was used to kill Kokichi? And what would they use? Okay, that. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got that one. Okay. Now, let's see. The other ones are the map of the virtual world. So let's go to the beginning. Um, what did Mew bring from Shuichi's lab, which was the poison? There we go. Okay. What was posted in the entrance hall? And that was the map. There we go. Now we can unlock the other ones. There we go. What is this? Through the signboard to the river. Oh, that one. Okay. That was that. Okay, got that. And then which one is this? Mew smuggles in a hammer. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, that's this one. There we go. She had a hammer. She wanted to kill Kokichi's ass, and I don't even blame her. Okay. Okay, the culprit looking for the secret of the outside world. I don't know about that one. Okay, Sumigi looking. Okay, she was in the dining hall. Right. She was in the dining hall. Okay, there we go. Blue cord on the right, red cord on the left. What is that? Okay, Shuichi Saihara, and then I was in the kitchen. There we go. Okay, what was this? Kaito on the roof. There we go. And then this one, the binoculars and toilet paper. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's over here. There we go. That's that one. Okay, what else is a mystery? What else? Oh, oh wait, oh wait. What is this? Okay. And then that was the culprit. There we go. And then right here is that one. There we go. Now we got it all together. This is the oh. truth of the case. Man, I don't even want to do this one, low key, because it's so sad. It's the so case sad. Began last night. Mm -hmm. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. Yep. Mm. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. Yep, that's true. Mm. 
and then so we all plug those cords wrong. into our helmets and enter the virtual world. Oh man, I'm so sorry, Gonta. You did it wrong, baby. You did it wrong. You did it but wrong. The culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Mm. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, it's like he the set himself up on accident. Everything that happened in the virtual world. My God, it's like he set himself up on accident unintentionally. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. And that's why he didn't know nothing. Because I, I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. Oh, that may but have. Oh, we had no idea this error mm. even happened. And so we all logged in one by one. That's true. The glitch could have made him now a killer instead of being so nice as Meanwhile, he used to be. Mew huh. was the last to log in. Uh huh. She, she was trying to set up the Kaito. Killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. Mm. To set up Kaito's ass and get out of the killing Mew game. After confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison. Mm. Oh my God. And placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yep. Man, Mew. Yes. The reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was, was to, to kill, kill Kokichi, Kokichi in the virtual yep. world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. Man, this is why I love Mew too, because she was trying to get the person I didn't like out either. Like she said, let's After get him out right now. <laughs> in, Mew explained the world to us. Mm. Use the salon phone to lock out. Objects but she was are unbreakable. Withholding information. Your avatars use all five senses. She was withholding information, though. She mm. also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. Mm. But her explanation was intentionally false. Yep. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. And only she However, knew. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. Which was Kokichi. Mm. The very person Mew was trying to kill. Yep. Kokichi. Kokichi oh, was man. going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi mm. wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Poor Gonta. Poor Gonta. Because Gonta would listen to him, maybe. In a glitch. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive. Mm. So I don't know why the culprit agreed. It was but a it glitch, seems maybe? Though, right after logging in. When Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already mm. working together to execute the murder. Man, man, uh, oh my god. Mm. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mm-hmm. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. Mm-hmm. Kaito, oh, Kokichi, man. Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while mm -hmm. Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. But she was like, Spooling hey, Kokichi, up meet up with me. also part of Mew's plan. Right. Mm. At the chapel, I love Mew's Mew little character Maki here, too. She was going to look around outside. Mm hmm. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then she got rid of that. Oh, man. Man. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. And she was so smart to do this, yo. She was so smart to do this. This was to this. trick oh us God. into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. But At it did At the didn't. time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. Yep. Mew had me believing that Kaiso was the killer, so she is super smart for doing all of that. That's this. why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. Mm-hmm. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Mm. Kokichi searched the salon. Supposedly. Because he Kaito wasn't even there. searched the roof. Mm-hmm. But he got logged out. Tsumugi searched the dining room. Clueless as ever. I searched the kitchen. Being a detective, come on. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Gonta, oh man. Around that mm. time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. Which wasn't she really a wall for her, wall right? And headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. Mm. 
You yep, see, so you can the go wall was there. a special wall that Mew had added herself. Mm. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed mm. her avatar settings from human to object. Man. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only uh. she could pass through. Oh man, I'm just so sad that Mew is dead and then her killer was gone. Mew headed like, toward the mansion, serious? but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. Mm. When she entered mm -hmm. the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Huh. I just feel so sad that she's dead, yo. Like, I then, can't get over it. She spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. Kaito. <laughs> and poor Kaito, Kaito just... <laughs> who was on the roof at the time. Just innocent bystander getting zapped out. Going to meet. Man. By having Kaito search the roof and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious. Yep. But her plan didn't go smoothly. Mm hmm Because the one she intended to kill had a partner. God. Mm. Kokichi was oh. waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. Mm. And then go While to Mew was distracted her. by Kokichi. Oh. The culprit snuck up from behind. Mm. Mm. Yep. Oh my and used god. Used toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. My this goodness, they added the sound effects too. Because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, and then she tried to get him but couldn't. Man, God. And Kokichi standing there like, yeah, you tried to get me, but you couldn't. Now you're the one dead. Mew's wow. Mew's avatar was strangled to death. And oh. the shock killed Mew in the real world. Mm. My goodness. And then After Kokichi's the murder, like, I'm gone. Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. Mm. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. Exactly. Oh, then he the slid her ass then down the, the lattice from the man. storage room. <sighs> and placed Mew's body on top along with the hammer and the cell phone. Mm. The culprit heaved the ladder look, look at the her ass, look. and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. Look how they sliding her down like she ain't nothing. My goodness. Look, look. With a body oh. on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. Yep. And then her ass slammed right into the chapel. Look at it that. Went oh through my god. The wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. How they just disrespected her body like that. My goodness. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and mm. we heard in the mansion. Mew's mm. wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's mm -hmm. why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. And everybody else was able to hear it too. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we mm -hmm. were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So he had so to slide used the down. toilet paper again to With escape from the paper. rooftop. Uh-huh. Uh. That glitch is something else, from man. The binoculars on the roof and that glitch turned like Gonza into a whole killer. Down. My god. Once and then the he had to get rid of that. On the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. Mm -hmm. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but, but they we were already into us as we were leaving the mansion. Mm -hmm. So then he threw it over. In yep. panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. But we found it. So that was the biggest mistake. Uh. Without that uh. one little mistake, right. we might never we have solved never. this case. Because mm -hmm. the culprit doesn't remember. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so sorry, Gonta. I know. I know, baby. I know. I know. Look. This is the truth you've forgotten, mm. Gonta Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. Oh, my God. I didn't want it to be you. Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. I'm so sorry, baby. So sorry. Gonta oh. not really understand. Is Gonta not smart boy? You are. <laughs> If everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Oh my god, Gonta. Gonta. Trust everyone. Oh Gonta. man. 
But why? Going to kill Mew. Forget everything. Going to even think he not do anything bad. Oh my god. Going to try to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. Oh, Why? I'm so sorry, Why babe. Go to do such terrible thing. I'm so sorry. You didn't know what you were doing. Gonta, it's not your fault. Right. It's Kokichi. It's Kokichi's, fault. right. He must have tricked Gonta. Mm. Huh? I totally didn't trick the him. The glitch probably made him listen to Kokichi's Before ass. Before we go into that, thinking. it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. Oh my god. He has no remorse. Is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? No, we're not. For once, I wish that we were. Right, but we're not. He's actually telling the truth, y'all. Huh? Wrapping things up already? Hmm. Look. What a buzzkill of an ending. Mm. It lacks the rush of previous voting time. Because everybody's sad this time. Well, we don't want to go to the so die. After so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. Man. It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. You have no child. Oh, Jeez. You're even starting to look like a father. Ew. Yeah, I've got to get my act together for the baby. You have no children, y'all. <sighs> now then, pull yourselves together and let's begin. I don't even the want to. raising excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time. I don't even want to vote, man. I don't want to vote, man. I don't want to do this to you, Gonta. My God. Ugh. Oh. Oh man, Gonta. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Oh, I don't even want to see the result. I don't even want to see the result of this. I don't want to see him get executed. I don't want to see the result. I don't want to see any of it. My god. Kokichi. <laughs> he voted for Kokichi. He said, look, I'm going to get his ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Kaito, so, come on. Will you make the right choice mm. or the dreadfully wrong one? Man, Kaito is petty. He said, look, even with all this evidence that y'all ran down, I still think it's his bitch ass. Which I get because y'all don't even like each other. But come on. Huh. I'm so sorry, Gonta. Oh. This don't even feel right. This don't even feel right of a class trial. Like, this is sadder than Andrew's trial, I feel like. I feel like it is. Because he don't even remember doing it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, I got an A. I know. I know I did good on this one. I didn't want to. Well, look at that. You voted correctly. Congratulations, you guys. Give yourselves a hand. Let me hear your joyful voices. Yeah, they're all crying. They're crying. He said, damn it, why? They're all just moping around. They should be happy for themselves. I know I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Good question. We should prepare six names. What? We're having sex tuplets? I'm so happy I'm gonna go crazy. Hey, Kokichi, you said this would liven things up. What gives, huh? Up? Uh, you said you were gonna liven up the killing game in the class trial, and I said I'd put the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing game simulator. <laughs> that was just a lie. Oh, oh so it was just a lie. He just laughed it off? Are you satisfied, Kokichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? Is it motive you gave Gonta? I plan to explain all of that, but it's more like, how do I say it? You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, then let's have Gonta explain. Huh? Please Gonta? Stop. Gonta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect all him to? Right. Then we should all go back into the killing game simulator. Huh? What? Because? Why don't we ask go the Gonta in a virtual but world? But going back to the virtual world is, <laughs> there's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method, <laughs> which is what? Oh? Gonta's memories didn't transfer over. Oh. So, they're still in the virtual world as data. Oh, so we get to watch I it as a video playback? I his consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. Wow. Okay, so now we're gonna watch the video. Alter oh! Ego Gonta is now complete. Oh, they made Alter Ego Gonta. That is a reference to Alter Ego Cheerio. Yes, we know. It's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. Oh, this is making me miss Cheerio now. Says, 
we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Oh my god. Huh? What this? Oh. What happened? Oh, you can hear his voice too. Oh my goodness. Oh. Huh? Is this Gonta? Huh? Is it Gonta? <laughs> that mean? What sort of phenomenon is this? What did you do? Hey, um... Relax, Himiko. It's not magic and it's not a trick. Alter Ego Gonta is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonta's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real um, Gonta. Gonta not understand who this Alter Ego person. It's you, baby, but we're not gonna talk about that, okay? Now then. See, it even stupid like the real Gonta. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's got Gonta's memories of the virtual world, so he should remember what happened. Please. Then other Gonta, tell why? Gonta. Why? Why did Gonta kill Mew? Uh -huh. Kill Mew? Why does other Gonta know about? Oh, Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell them the truth now. Oh, Gonta. Gonta no could save everyone? Huh? Save everyone? Gonta don't hey, know. answer Gonta. Why did Gonta kill Mew? Wrong. Gonta just wants to save everyone. He wants to save everyone. That's... Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta. Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta strong, but no can fight exorcists. Um... Gonta feel frustrated, because Gonta no could do anything. <sighs> Gonta understand how this Gonta yeah. feels. Technically, they are the same person. But... So that's why Gonta think he may have to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it because everyone else not want to. Gonta. So Gonta kill Mew. What? what do you mean by that? I don't get it at oh. all. Jeez, Gonta is bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um... So if you remember what happened at that time. No, we shouldn't. If you want to prevent another murder from happening, I'll take that key. Oh, so was it in there? Huh. Huh? The card key. So you yeah. used it? After working tirelessly, I finally found the door for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world? What? That was Monokuna's motive? But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? I'll tell you guys in a second, but that was when I found out about Muti's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combine the two, then I'd be able to save Please everyone. Wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? Hey. hey, now, you gotta listen to everything I say first. Um... Anyway, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma by livening up the killing game. <laughs> that he will let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? Again? Let me chime in. The motive key card that Kokichi nabbed was the right to view the outside world. But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggested we reuse the motive. Yeah. He yeah. said we should bring back the right to the view the outside world one more time. And I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded a flashback light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Huh? Memories of the outside world in a flashback light? What? The secret of the outside world in the virtual world was about the flashback light. You know. And if it was the flashback light, it would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. Huh? What are you Wait. saying? But why would anything about the outside world be a motive in the first place? What's going on oh. here? You can't remember? Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about the motive later. We have to finish up this case first. Um... Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden and then showed it to Gonta in the virtual hey! world. Hey, you even knew where it was hidden? That's not it's fair. The truth. Whoa, I just placed it. I never actually said I hid it. Too bad. If anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. <laughs> it's a little late for that. So Gonta was exposed to the flashback um... light. Yeah, when Kokichi and Gonta leave together. Oh. Uh-huh, they left together. Hmm. Okay, so they left together. Could it be? Was Kokichi trying to lure Gonta off by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret of the outside world was Gonta. Gonta. After that, Gonta got taken to forest near mansion. Is this flashback light? It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it. We gotta tell everyone. Wait. Don't tell everybody. Are you sure you wanna believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know. Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? I mean, you wanna protect everyone, right? That is the perfect time to do it. Protect everyone? Aw, then Gonta did it because he wants to. And there, Gonta remembers secret on the outside world. But that just confused Gonta more about what to do. <sighs> what can Gonta do to save everyone? Gonta no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him, if he wants to save everyone, he should put everyone out of their misery. In other words, a mercy. What did you say? What? No way. Was Gonta tricked? No, you not tricked. Because when Gonta remembers secret of the outside world, Gonta <sighs> think it would be easier to die. What? Um... Remember what everyone said at the beginning that this academy is hell? <sighs> Gonta agree. Academy that forced students to be part of killing game is hell. So everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? Huh? What do you mean, Gonta? <sighs> Inside is hell. Outside is hell. What should Gonta and friends live How for? And everyone who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside and hell inside. What? 
And then Kokichi tell me, best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of their misery while they still not know. And only one who could do such dirty work is Gonta. Yeah. That's right, the only way you can save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial, he would have lived in his, this hell alone. You get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? Come on. Wait a minute, I still don't get what's happening. Um, what outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there, what do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gonta see? What did we forget? Hey. Hurry up and tell us, or else we won't be able to understand it. Gonta, what pushed you to do such a thing? Please. Answer, Gonta. Sorry, Sorry Gonta no can tell why? you. Can't tell us why. Because if Gonta tell you, then everyone will end up like Gonta. Everyone despair. Huh? Despair? I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think that kind of Gonta would tell you about such despair from his own mouth? But Now we don't know any more than we started. Now you know how Gonta and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? Then can't you accept everything about this case? You can imagine the rest, right? I used Mew's plan and turned it against her. I hid Gonta away from sight where Mew and I were supposed to meet. And then killed her ass. Oh my god, man. Gonta sacrificed himself. Huh? Kaito's not here? Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm honored you asked me to meet up with you, Mew. Is this a booty call? Oh hell no, I don't think so. Or are you here to kill me? So you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I made sure of it when I programmed your settings. Oh, guess I'm in trouble now. I'm sorry, but you just should give up. This is my only chance. I have no choice but to do this. My inventions will change the world. They'll make the world a better place. Aww. It's my duty as a genius inventor, so I can't afford to die here. Oh, Mew. Oh. Sorry, Gonta, so sorry. Oh, and he's apologizing as he's strangling her. Oh my God. Don't be sorry, Gonta. She was trying to kill me too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize. Oh, poor baby. Oh, but I'm uh, going to sorry. Gonta, so sorry, Mew. I already said you don't need to apologize. We had to do this for everyone's sake. Man, man. Oh my God. It, it can't be. be. Gonta would never. You should know that it was Gonta's idea to slide the body to the chapel huh? wall. What? Gonta's Gonta. idea? Before Gonta went to the roof, he happened to see Mew walk through the wall. Gonta tell Kokichi and he think of everything else. What? Gonta gave me that chance. I like to think we make a pretty good team. Stop it! He's a bi- Ooh, he's a bitch. Ooh, good. What's good about that? You're the worst. Um, that's whole story. That's everything that happened. Well, so in the end, you don't plan to tell us the secret of the outside world. Sorry. Sorry, Gonta can no tell you that. Oh, well, around. I mean, hearing that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Kokichi. Can this be? But Gonta did kill Mew. Gonta really sorry. did. Sorry, everyone. Gonta is so sorry. Gonta. <laughs> but Gonta's plan to save everyone failed. Gonta not save anyone. Gonta just make everyone suffer more. Gonta, Gonta is idiot. stupid. So stupid. How can Gonta call himself gentleman? Oh, this is such a sad... That's such a sad case, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Everyone, please forgive him. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. But you reached for the truth, and Gonta's plan failed. All of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Uh -huh. So you're saying it was wrong to fight yeah. for the truth? Yes, it was. At least Gonta and I think so. You should all have died ignorant. Gonta even killed me for that sake, you know? Even enough of your shit. You made him the killer. Please stop! You know, Gonta is bad, because Gonta killed someone. Gonta's murderer is true. <laughs> yes, Gonta make everyone suffer. That is true. Sorry, Gonta is sorry he failed everyone. Gonta is sorry for being stupid. Gonta is sorry he make everyone suffer. Gonta so sorry. <laughs> we get it. You don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on dirty work and not Gonta, right? Everyone hates me, so the role of villain is perfect for I know me. that. Yeah, I know already. I should have. It should have been my responsibility. Aw. Okay, I don't know if this is real tears or not, but I feel kind of bad for Kokichi. He probably was hated everywhere, and that's probably why he became a villain. I don't know. But when I realized Mew was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in a virtual world. And in fact, you were right. She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. So am I. That's why I had to ask Gonta. I wouldn't have done it myself if I that's could. Enough. Okay, but you didn't need to push everything onto Gonta. Please, stop. stop, it's okay. <sighs> Everyone, please, don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. Gonta, how nice can you be, Gonta? You really are stupid sometimes. You're right. Someone as stupid as Gonta can never be a gentleman. Hey, hey. hey are we done yet? Look, y'all, Monokuma, we are sad. Okay, let us grieve. Okay, he's about to die. Jeez. Huh? What? And you guys are starting to talk in circles, so let's just move on to the exciting <laughs> stuff. The eagerly anticipated punishment so time. 
Well, if you're gonna punish him, then please punish me too. Huh? Kokichi? I know that. I'm prepared for it. If you're gonna execute Gonta, then I. <laughs> it's okay, Kokichi. Please let Gonta sacrifice himself for everyone's sake. That's all Gonta can do anymore. But. But just promise Gonta that everyone forgive each other and be friends, okay? Aw. <laughs> All right, I okay. promise. I don't know if he's being truthful or not. It looks like he's sincere right now, but I have to wait and see. I don't know. It's time to punish the ultimate entomologist, Goku, Gonta Gokuhara. Mm. Oh, man, I bet his punishment's gonna have a lot of gross, nasty oh, bugs. Ah. Oh, that's right. You don't like nasty stuff. No, it's not that. It's coming. Yeah. What's coming? The baby? The contractions are speeding up any minute now. Hey. Quick, hold my hand. I prepared a special prepared a punishment. Very special punishment. Hmm. Gonta! Wait, please, I don't want this. Don't go, no. Gonta. Don't cry, Kokichi. Gonta is okay. <sighs> yeah, Gonta not cry. Gonta's really not scared, but... How can this be? Gonta upset. Gonta upset he can no protect everyone. Gonta, you can't cry either. It's well then, let's give it everything we've got. Sorry. Gonta love you all. Gonta. Gonta is so sorry for being stupid. Oh, this is so sad. Oh my god. I don't even want to see it, man. I don't even want to see it. Oh, man. Big man. Big baby. Oh my god. I don't even want to see it, yo. Oh my god. Uh, I thought they was going to put him on a cross. Oh my god. And then she over there having a baby on the side. Oh, they're killing him and his alter ego. Oh, no. Oh, Wild West insecticide. Oh, my God. Killing him and the alter ego. Man, I don't care about you being pregnant. Oh, oh, he's going to die from a lot of stains. Oh, Gonta. Oh, Gonta eating him. Oh, oh, well, nope. He still got stung. I was about to say he eating them hits, but he's not. Oh man. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Are both of the bears dead now? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Slice his head off. Oh, stabbed him. Oh my god. Damn, then you gotta torch him? Oh my god! Of course he would be killed by bugs too. Oh man. You evil bitch Monokuma. Guys, what a twist, huh? Even I didn't see that coming. All my little cousins have been destroyed. So sad, all that cuteness gone to waste. Why? What are you talking about? You're the ones responsible for this. Why would you do such a thing to your own children? Because lately they've been acting all buddy-buddy neglecting me. I'm never going to get the hang of this whole parenting thing. Yeah, you never have the hang of it at all, okay? Because you're a fucking deadbeat, okay? You're a deadbeat dad, okay? And I'm, I'm not going to say that I miss the Cubs because I don't. But you didn't deserve them either. So, hey. That's why? That doesn't matter now. We don't have the time to give him attention. Anyway, I'm going to walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids later. No, he's not. He don't give a, he don't give a damn about them bears. I know, y'all. I know. Why did it have to turn out like this? Got a minute? Hey, Kokichi, why don't you tell us now? What is the secret of the outside world? If we don't know it, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret would push Gonta that far? Oh, Kokichi, you? if you really care for Gonta, explain yourself to everyone and I don't want to. Huh? You what? What? I don't want to, stupid head. See, look, look. Was he really crying? Kokichi. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, did you fall for all that fake crying? I was suspicious of you, so no, not really. You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta. Oh, I'm gonna ooh, I'm gonna punch you in your fucking face. Oh my god. What? Fake crying? Because... If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. That would have interfered with the game, so I simply lied to calm him down. <laughs> See? As long as you lie for a good purpose, right? What? Hey. What do you mean what really happened? Why did you make him do that? Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What are you... I gave Gosa an incentive because I thought it would liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone like what Gonta did, really I would have betrayed Gonta. You should have realized that. Hey. Then why did Gonta... <laughs> oh, man, I want to get your ass. Who cares about that idiot? Ooh, I, I want to get your ass. I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion. 
and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Oh my God. Kokichi gave us one of his creepy smiles. When I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is, a bitch. Malice. His entire body, nothing but raw and unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil. Mm. So it's obvious my personality would be twisted. Of course the it would be. The more you suffer, the more I enjoy it. Oh, you there mother. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. So that's Not you. Not one of those people. Yep. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on a... Oh, man. Seriously, who the hell do you think you are? So for your own entertainment, you sacrifice Mew and You're Gonta? So dumb. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money, right, Maki Roll? Someone like you has no right to call me Maki Roll. Do you want to die <laughs> for real, bitch? You look so much better with a scowl on your face, Maki Roll. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If only you had suspected me more, then <laughs> Mew and Gonta wouldn't have died such meaningless deaths. Meaningless deaths? Kaito screamed and sprinted at Kokichi like a bullet. Beat his ass. Beat his ass! There we go. Adult thud resounded through our skulls. Beat. Oh! Sorry. Oh! I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. Oh, so he punched Kaito. Kaito. Wow! You. Oh. By the way, wow. Kaito, is it just me? Uh. Or are you way slow? Because he's sick! He's sick! Maybe. Just maybe. Kanto uh, is hiding something from us, too. Maybe he doesn't want everybody to know that he's sick. I don't know. Kaito! Are you okay? Kaito kept coming at him, and Maki glared at Kokichi with piercing <laughs> eyes. For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you are pretty agile just now. <laughs> oh, you believed a little lie like that? Oh, you really want to die, Let's don't you? More fun. Oh, did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaito? Maki. No, Maki. <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose her cool for a guy like Kaito. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Kokichi never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what he had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaito's <laughs> side. Kaito, are you are hurt? You right? Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? <laughs> Sorry, my MP's at zero, so I can't use any recovery oh. magic. Hey, why are you all so worried about this pathetic That's wrong. pathetic look at yourself kokichi mm -hmm. what no kaito always has us by his side see but no one wants to be around you you're alone kokichi you will always be <laughs> oh you're talking about friends friends don't make this game more entertain oh, oh geez boring i'm no longer interested i don't care anymore but i will tell you this <laughs> the one who will win this game is me you know what maki just get him just get his herbs kokichi spat out those words and left the room <laughs> Uh, are you okay, Kaito? Kaito. Uh, are you all right? Huh? Kaito? Hey. You don't look well. It didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but what? did you hit your head or something? Uh, I'm okay. It's okay. fine. Don't push yourself. You should lie down and I said I'm fine. Kaito tried to get up, but oh, uh-oh. Kaito doubled over. His knees gave out and he collapsed hard. Uh-oh. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, showing the blood. Mm. Kaito? Blood? Yeah. Why? What's the matter, Kaito? He's sick, y'all. Don't freak out over this. He's sick. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. Does he have cancer? Like, what I is it? I didn't know that coughing up blood was a cold symptom. You're mm. a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Mm -mm. Just chill. That does not look just fine. just cough too much and cut my throat or something. I don't know. Mm -mm. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. That does not look good, Kaito. Yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. Sorry, but I'm gonna head back to Kaito. my room. Okay, I'll go with you. Don't follow me. Huh? Oh. I can walk on my own. I don't need your help, Shuichi. Oh. Oh, so it's like that, Kaito? Kaito staggered off. Oh? No. I'll go with him. I'll be. It'll be bad if he collapses on the way. Right, we'll leave it to you then. Mm. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Kaito was just stressed out, it's all. Aw. It's kind of hard not to take that personally. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought I could help. I just wanted us all to... And I wanted it so damn bad. I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. And this is what I get? By trying to survive, we're just playing the stupid game. Just like Okichi. Damn it. Aw, oh, man. I'm so sorry, Shuichi. This is why you don't like being a detective. This is why. Oh? What you doing? Huh? It's almost time. Oh? Yeah. It's almost time. This should be enough. What are you end doing? It. It'll end what? Mm-mm. Now is the time. Okay, now he looks I'll like a real end villain. This killing game. Huh. He looks like a real villain now. I thought he was just the ultimate liar before. 
This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Oh, what? The This world is mine. Oh, so he's the one that's writing that this whole time. Man. Oh, this was a this was a sad and disappointing chapter. I'm not going to lie. That was a sad chapter right there. We need to stop Kokichi because he's really looking like the ultimate villain now. All right, y'all. So that is the end of chapter four for Danganronpa V3. Mew's dead. Sweetheart gone to kill her. Him and his alter ego died. Kokichi's still here. Kaito's dying. Kaito's mad at Shuichi. It's just, I, everything, everything wrong that could have happened, happened, okay? And it, I don't even know how to continue. We gotta stop Kokichi. Kokichi is planting little stone words in the in the grass, making everybody try to figure out what it is or what it means, and it's actually his ass doing it this whole time. The Cubs are dead. Which I'm actually kind of happy about, but still. I If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be back with another episode of Danganronpa V3. In all of its foolishness. Yeah, so I'll see y'all later. And deuces.